There we go. Hey everyone. Here I am. I was just grabbing a quick coffee. How's everyone doing tonight? Or today, for some of you. Most of you probably. Today, my analytics. Who oh, all is here? Hey, Gibbles, Jeff, Krishna. Hello, Edgar's here, of course. Loham. Pac Man, director. Hello again. Sarge. David. Sir, it's Surge. Sorry, it's Surge. Okay, hold up. There we go. Gotta get comfortable. <laughs> and Gordon. Or oh, did I name you already? You're probably one of the first at the top there. Hey, Karsten. Did, did I miss a pun? I'll probably see it later, no worries. I always read all the comments. Alrighty. Bit of a... I'm a bit later than yesterday today. Because I was actually uh, talking with the dev for a bit. And then on the Discord. And in the end it was like, oh yeah, right, dinner. Let me go eat something. Open sesame. So, uh, but uh, I also saw that there were... How many patches came out today? A whole lot. Since, since I streamed, there were a bunch of patches. Oh. Oh yeah. Be nice. <laughs> she just started growling against the other two. Uh, let me see. Pick up my tools. Standard. Loading in. Uh, so yeah, I talked to, uh, to him about the fact that the work time owed is not per person, but added up. So if you have one person hired, the work time owed would be one plus one plus one. And if you had two people, but it was two plus two plus two. So obviously if you had four employees, it would be four plus four, you hit eight ink and everyone stopped working. So I asked him about that and it looks like he just pushed out the patch for that. So I was just talking to them him today. Brian, thank you very much for subscribing. Hello, hello. Hey, BB-8. I'm good, thank you. And I need my coffee, okay? I've been, <laughs> I've been very busy with this game, honestly. Not just playing, but everything in the background. Um, so the news of today. Developer just started a huge giveaway on his Discord for 30 keys. It's going to be running for about 22 hours more. I pinned the link for his Discord so you can join it. And then, of course, you go to the giveaway channel and you'll find it right there. So you can join in there. I will also be giving away two keys during the stream. And then, to not overlap with their Discord giveaway, I will be giving away some keys over the weekend on my Discord. So there you go, all the giveaways. Uh, let's see where we put everyone yesterday. And I did want to ask everyone to please, if you got the game, where do you- Oh, forgot my coffee, hold on. <laughs> if you bought it, if you won it, if you do like it, just Leave a nice review for him. I understand there are some bugs, but he's pushing out update after update to deal with that. He's working on it mostly alone. He has some testers, but you know, the programming he does alone. So show a bit of support, give him a nice review. There's a lot of people who, yeah, I do understand that you would want a perfect game if you buy it. But if you buy an indie game, even just an active dev is for me reason enough to be nice about it. <laughs> oh, logo, you're right. Absolutely. Thanks for the reminder. I'm just opening up all the doors here. I saw someone on, the dis on their Discord stating they would like a bigger opening here. But to be honest, I agree. Because what I could do then 
is if that let's say this opening was yay big right we could add some more butlers here and then make um, a conveyor belt go this way And then you could have all your bottles on on the square there. Yeah, what kind of beer do you want to want to make? Let's see. But well, well, he doesn't remember the logo you used. At least you don't have to uh, upload anymore. Really, the only thing I don't get in the game yet is the popularity thing. So this one we just... No, we were in the midst of making the IPA. I'm just going to ignore the popularity for now. I don't think it has any influence on the pricing at the moment. Maybe that's something that will be implemented in the future. So the only problem we have right now here is that one, they run into each other. And two, they don't add yeast. Yeah, they're waiting on the yeast. What's a bit of a shame here is that he just... Uh, oh, hello. My stairs disappeared. <laughs> um, he just made it so that the beers actually require less ingredients. But it's fine. We'll just uh, continue. Uh, no, don't move objects. Add that. There you go. Um, we're just going to make... Uh, oh. No, I just walked upstairs. Wait, what? Can we not... Add more... Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, there we go. That was weird. <laughs> it just disappeared. Yeah, it might be changed. I mean... There's a lot of stuff going on in this game, to be honest. Okay, let me, let me try something. Because I think they are supposed to be able to move yeast. Maybe... If we unpack it... No. Reassign. I'm trying both because these I added myself and those come with the bonus at the back. Come with the brewing tech. Oh. Oh no, that, that didn't work. There you go. Anything? No. No, I don't think that works at the moment with the yeast. It's, um... Or was it on the pallet? Was, was that maybe fixed? I want to try it, though. I want to see if maybe something changed. Oh, of course. My forklift respawned upstairs. Wait, I wish I had one downstairs as well. makes it expensive. I would love to have a second one. <laughs> They're having a good time, alright, Serge? <laughs> yeah, he's probably still working on the yeast thing. And honestly, it's not that big of a deal to be able to have to put in the yeast myself. Um, something that... Nope, never mind. I was going to say this should have been fixed. I thought it was, but apparently no. Hold on. We get it, get it to flop? Uh, I can always do a reset. I had my forks all the way down to the floor on purpose. Well, that's how he spawns in. I think we're uh, well and stuck here. We push our way up, right side up. No, I think we're we're stuck in that corner there too. <laughs> bouncy, 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 bouncy. Come on. It's weird, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh! Look at that. Okay, hold up. Oh yeah, of course. Then I hit the ceiling. Okay, let's find a height that is not reaching the ceiling, but also doesn't hit the floor. 
Yeah, that's something he needs to work on too. <laughs> Tell him how he goes. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Yeah, I thought it was better to just go out, turn, and then try again. No, I was. Oh, yeah, of course. I made a mistake. I was trying to go backwards as you would do when driving on a flat floor, but we're not. You can't really go backwards on a ramp. There we go. Okay, I got it downstairs. Let's get some yeast. I want to know if it works. I don't think it will, but we'll see. I got it. I got it. Didn't even have to respawn. Oh, there. That's better. <laughs> Where am I at? Oh yeah, hold on. I keep forgetting. Straighten out the wheels, then go forward. Just to make sure. No. Okay, worth a try, worth a try. We're just testing. Uh, yeah, that means I'm gonna... Put this one back again, because it's in the way. Uh, no, that that's something I've requested as well. That uh, I would love to have a way to lock the pallets. Because, uh, here, I'll, I'll show you in a moment. Um, if you pick up a bag and you have loose pallets lying around with nothing on them They'll get like a spot where you can put the bag, but that spot pushes the pallets away Which makes uh, which makes the pile explode Which is <laughs> not handy. Oh wait, I'm a little too close to the wall There we go Oh, no, it wasn't. I must have hit the other pallets. Well, it's stable. It's good. Let's go. Uh, yeah, so here. If I pick up one of these bags... Look at the pallets in the bag. Wait. Wait, he fixed it? Hold on, hold on. With the yeast, then. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, but I think... I think he might have made it so they don't explode anymore. Oh. That would be nice, because what kept happening is that my pallets pushed each other to the floor. It's not a big deal, because you can just go pick them up at the entrance. But I would love a way to be able to like stack five or ten pallets. And even if I have to move the forklift, at least I don't have to move them one by one. Okay, let's keep an eye on the pallets. Oh, yeah, they don't move anymore. Well, let's try it up with... The, hold on. Now I want to try it with the beer. I'll be, I'll be back to add the yeast in a moment. Because the beer was the biggest problem. Are we... No, no dirt here. Okay. Do we have any boxes? Yes. We do. Oh, no, they still do it. See what I mean? Look, oh. Oh, we went level up. Look, there was a pallet there and it fell to the floor. That's that's what I meant. So it only happens with the beer then. Okay, that's good to know. I was wondering. Even if I could ju oh yeah, see, you, you can see it exploded here too when I picked up the beer. Uh, even if I could just, like, lock them together so they don't get that pop-up, and then I can move them with the pallet, uh, with the forklift, that would solve those problems. Oh, there we go, I couldn't pick it up for a moment. Okay, catch! I need, like, 20. That's a, that's a lot of yeast. Okay, let me empty these back in the back. 
I'm probably just shooting a bit too hard, honestly. Oh, would you look at that? Look at the top. Work time owed one instead of four. So now it's going by time instead of per time per person. That's perfect. Because I thought it would it should be like that, but it wasn't. That's why I told the dev. And he fixed it. Ah. No, I'm gonna have to fire full force, unfortunately. To get it over that railing. I'm trying to get it in that blueprint, but I don't think it's really going to work here. Oop. Let me see. How many do we have? All next to it. <laughs> it just bounces off the lid. But at least we don't have to walk up the stairs 20 times. Hey, gaming guy. Yeast to yeast. Yes, exactly. Um, what's still bugged for you, director? Yeah, how, how much yeast does go in that? This amount? I did up the yeast a little bit on this recipe, but I was expecting more hops instead of so much yeast, to be honest. Oh. see the use of me putting the yeast on top of those racks but maybe in the future that's where our employees will get the yeast so, gotta make sure we don't put in too much yeah he, he dropped the amount needed but I was already making a batch which which is a bit of a shame but it's fine come on My beer tastes like yeast. Uh, to be honest, I've um, I, I don't make bread often, but in the past I've made um, what what we call a Kerstol. Of German would be Weihnachtsstollen. It's a bread filled with uh, raisins, currants, often soaked in rum, as, as we'd made at least. <laughs> Hold on, I lost count where we were. Um, but also uh, what we call succade, which is basically like dried pieces of apple. You could put in uh, pieces of dried orange. Uh, you can, can put in nuts, but I don't like that. Um, and then you put in the yeast, but this is an old recipe. This is a recipe from 1988. And so you need fresh yeast. Obviously, you can replace it, but, you know, but it tastes so different. Fresh yeast um, in bread over over the dried yeast, the instant yeast you can get nowadays. It's a whole different flavor. The only downside of the workers standing here, I can't read my screen. I can't see where we're at, but it'll close automatically when I have put in enough yeast. I think I have one bag too many, but yeah. Exactly. Well, that's fine. Hold on. You can just wait here until the next batch. Okay, it's going. Hey, cowgirl. Hello, hello. Four liquid ounces. Oh, boy. Um... Wasn't it like uh, eight tomatoes with some kind of ounces and gallons? And I, I can never remember. I always have to Google how many like liter status or milliliters. How long is this going to take? The gray on white. I can't read that. I can't really zoom in either. Uh, how, about, how about you step aside a moment? No, okay. No, not you. 
They're all blocking each other. I can put them on other jobs too, though, soon. Uh, five minutes. All right. I'll go bring some of these upstairs when we need them. Using your smart TV as a third monitor? Yeah, that works. You shared my video with other YouTubers, well thank you. But uh, apparently my videos are good for tips. Because <laughs> you're not the first one to tell me that. So I'm flattered. And happy. Because you know, that's the point. Or one of the points. Uh, no, actually just leave them out here because like we just saw, they fall to the floor. Yeah, we lost a few, uh, few buddies here. Oh, there he is. Uh, hold on, because... Yeah, that one was almost through the floor there. Hold on, maybe if we reset it? No, it just sinks through the floor. I guess the floor is not very stable in the... In the brewery. Okay, that's all set up. Um, yeah, we can put another... I'll put one of the brewers onto the bottling plant in just a moment. Uh, we'll probably... Ha now that the work time owed is uh, per time and not per time per worker, it's going a lot less fast. So what happened was that in two work times we had you know, I have four workers, so I had eight work time owed. Uh, that one, yeah, that got a little annoying. They stopped working a lot. Todd, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> that, there is no trash right now, Gibbles. Luckily. Uh, have you had the issue of not being able to drive the forklift and the pallet jack up the ramp in the milling room? I'll try. Hold on. What was I doing here again? Right, coffee. Guess I need to be able to run. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing here? It, it doesn't matter. I just... When I'm reading chat, it's uh... Right, I was gonna check here. There's the pallet that fell to the floor. And yeah, we can get some more workers too. So we can... So the plan is to get more brewing tanks. Because now that I can put workers on it, I just have to add the yeast myself. But I can just... Let them add in the grain, you know, no rush. In the meantime, I'll be doing other stuff. How are we doing over here? Right, I had the truck with the two pallets that I forgot and two pallets that I made afterwards. I sent off the truck before adding the two last pallets. It was a bit silly. I want to add some desks with computers and coffee machines all over the place. Especially here and up upstairs. That's going to help a lot. Um, yeah, honestly, the second pair of stairs, it's... It's just taking up space, isn't it? On the other hand, we have more than enough space. Does it really matter? No. I'm just thinking, because we could put another broom tank here. And then we can put... Well, this this one would go over here, because we don't want to work... Well, actually... No, 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 because if they go up the... Well, if they went up the stairs here, it wouldn't be a problem. The problem is that they, they use those stairs. Maybe I should remove them. Yeah. We can test it first with another batch, but probably in the future I'll remove the right stairs so they're only using the left one and then move everything to the left. Uh, 
Does it really matter? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're waiting on that to brew. In the meantime, no, you asked. Go up to the milling room, you said, right? Let us see. I have the V8 engine, which uh, is... Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Turbo. Why is it beeping? I'm not going backwards. Oh. Okay, hold up. If we want to do this, we got to straighten out the steering. You're right. That's not good. Oh. <laughs> I booped. Um. Can we, uh... Can we flip him? No, I don't think so. We're just sideways. That's not good. Um, you can't put the pallet spaces... What quest are you on, Todd? What is your objective at the moment? Let me see if this is still bugged. Nope. Good. Let's go. I, I bopped it over. But you're right. I can't get it up normally. I had to use the turbo. That's new. Let's test out the ramp in the... Um... Because I re hold up first, first thought. Then, then we'll test more. Um, so I remember being on a, on an objective for something in here. I don't remember what it was, and I couldn't place the bottle spot. But the next step, I could. So maybe just finish your quest and try again. Yeah, we got we got quite some bottles. Not enough for the whole batch, I don't think. Is the I think the beer might be ready, but let us check first. I don't want to mess it up by turning it on too early. Okay, hold on. Uh, first forks up, because otherwise we get the bouncy thing again. Probably. You have done all the quests. That's weird then. Okay, turn. Try this round. Hold on. Straighten out the wheel there. Okay, that one. That one goes. Uh, did I miss something? You have to have your... Well, no, the forks weren't the issue. I had the forks up. Um, it was power. It just didn't go up. If your forks run into something, you get the bouncy horse effect, what we had just earlier. Okay, so that ramp isn't a problem. Hold on, let me see if... Because uh, there's been updates since I built these. No problem for me. I mean, I can't build them under the pallets, but free space is uh, is working. Yeah, 
yeah, no worries. I was just testing something because I was asked. The beer is probably ready now, but let us check to make sure. I need to bring one of my workers upstairs anyway. Hi, boys. Did I uh, click this screen? No. Storing. Yes, it's done. Um, level five. I should probably put one of the level fives on there, but the plan is to get another tank going so that they can start working on making more beer while we're bottling the beer in the other tank. Yeah, that uh, the ramp to the milling room, that works fine for me, but not anymore. Okay, well that's certainly something to put in the Bugs channel. He was probably trying to make it a little wider or easier to maneuver, but now we need more power. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, we got a lot of bottles ready. Let's turn these babies on. Settings. Select storage. Yeah, no, this is, this is actually incorrect. I'm going to take a picture and write it down real quick. Because the... Um, uh, let me see. Butler states no beer is stored, even though there is. And we can bottle it. Not a big issue, but it's weird that it says there is no beer. No tank is storing brewed beer. Well, clearly it is. Validate. Launch. All right. Yeah, there he goes. Um. There you go. Um, do we need to add more pallets? I don't think. No, that wouldn't really work anymore. Uh, the pallets are no longer pushed. Of the pallets, sorry. The boxes of bottles are no longer pushed to the side. You can see it's no longer spawning on that little blue plank, blue, brown, brown plank there. The boxes are blue. It's pushed forward. Once that is full, it'll go sideways. That's why I have those pallets there. That means we can leave it alone for a bit longer. Uh, boxes will... Why aren't you... That's weird. Look, it's not storing on the pallet. This pallet seems broken. What the hell? Hold on, there. I can't get, keep getting popped out. Did you not? I'm trying to push it to the side. Might need my... Huh. Okay, well, it's working, but that was weird. Look, this one doesn't have and this one neither. They don't have the white block. Yeah, look, I, this is supposed to happen. See, boop. Why do you keep stopping? weird okay now now it works oh 
No, I think I think I know the problem. This is an old batch of beer. You can't combine them on one pallet. That's the problem. So this is one batch of beer and this is the other. Ah. Okay, I'll remember that for the future, no problem. That does mean, however, we need to get um, those out of here. Uh, no, better idea. <laughs> Let me just put it outside here. That's going to save me some trouble. I missed. A little harder. There we go. I mean, they all have the same logo, but they're a different batch of beard, so they... They can't combine. That means that that pallet can go on the bus, but it'll go a uh, bus truck, but it'll go last. I will put this one a little closer. There you go. That one's already full. Okay, going well, going well. This one needs to get out of here. I was confused for a moment. Uh, the forks now hit all the ramps, I've noticed. It won't let you buy the broom. I've seen that one before. Uh, the general advice is to... Um, go to... Oh, what's it called again? Yeah, there is a fast link to use. I always go to... Is it my documents? No, it's it's this PC. And I go to wi the Windows folder. So C, users, your name, the name of the folder of your computer. You need to go to local. Uh, yeah, app data local. It should also be on the Discord. Then you go to... Uh, you basically need to delete the folder of your game and start over that should fix it but not where you uh, this is the safe the folder with all the safes in it did i put it high enough yes i did how do you see how many you have alt the alt button see we have six Empty bottles? No. It's Floof Pilsner. Huh, it says empty bottles. Maybe because there were empty bottles on that pallet? Mm, weird. Okay, I'll... This one clearly needs to go up top, so I'll put this... Oh, I thought I started the engine. I'll put this one up here. Uh, saving and starting a new day is something you can try, yes. But the advice from the developer was to delete your, the entire beer factory folder in your app data local folder. But there's a command for it, and I don't know it by heart, but I, because I always just go to that folder. Because I do, as you can imagine, a lot with saves, backing them up and... Can we get this out of here? Yes. There we go. Okay, quickly put down some new pallets. Oh, just one pallet at least. Come on. Push. Nah. Bother. Not a big deal, but there you go. Oh, it's uh, it's going fast. We still have 500 liters to go. Well, let's put away what we have. Th 
thank you. That's that must be it. Yeah. Yeah, so you will have to start over if you do that, but that should prevent the bug from happening again. I saw people who still got it, but in general, that should fix it. I don't know. I, it never happened to me, so I don't know uh, why it's happening. Okay. It's okay that it's not the neatest. We, uh, we use the crane to fix that later. God, this is nice. Now I don't have to pay my workers every five minutes. Or, sorry, uh, what was it? 20 minutes. Let's not exaggerate. Well, the point is that the moment you pick up the broom is really the start of the game. So getting rid of the save should prevent it from happening again. Right? Is it... What point do you get the broom? Well, I guess it depends. Some people might have already uh, cleaned up the whole brewery with garbage. <laughs> well, and if you then restart the game... Oh, uh, do re restart Steam. That was a tip I saw from someone. And then restart the game. And that should allow you to pick up the broom. But if it doesn't, I can't help you. That's the only tip I happen to see. He is working on that one though, because uh, we were just talking about it. That was a common complaint. It didn't happen to me, so I don't know why it happens to some people and not me. I guess it might also depend on on your computer in some ways FPS no idea I'm not a developer I'm trying to be careful and uh, not have my fox too high Oh, perfect. There we go. And we're already over 20 likes. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, I told him today that he needs to prioritize just bug fixes and playability. And not to say it's not playable. But uh, indeed, things like the forklift and, uh, you know, the fact that if your forks are in the position that this vehicle spawns with, makes you go bouncy bounce all over the place, obviously. Not what's supposed to happen. Let's see if we can get a full truck with this batch. That would be fun. Let me put down more pallets. I'm gonna have to go get some downstairs as well. Yeah. Push it. There we go. That's better. I'm trying not to put them on top of each other. Oh yeah. Oh, this one. Uh, this one did a floppy flop. Because it's full. <laughs> Still funny. Oop! <laughs> Can I reach those boxes? Yeah. 
probably have to stop the machines for a little bit soon to uh, clean up this mess, but for now it's uh, it's running. Mm, we're gonna have to switch out some bottles as well, though they still have some. Let's see, this one should fill out the bottom layer. Yes. Let me put it here. I'll use the crane. All the fluff IPA, yes. Yeah, they're very solid beer bottles, no worries. <laughs> The turbo doesn't affect the speed anymore. Um, the turbo just... It, disc, it might not help with the speed, but it sure gave me enough torque to get up here. Uh, not this one, sorry. The one in the milling room. I couldn't get up the ramp and the turbo got me up there, so... Go into speed mode. There we are. I'm stuck. Hold on. There we go. I had to straighten out the other pallet that was blocking me. See if we can grab the one over here. Ah, got it. <laughs> uh, we can't mix that little batch with the rest of the beer, so that'll be just a partial sell. It's fine. We'll still make a profit on it. I'm gonna deal with Francis, I'm gonna need my coffee. I'm coming, Francis. Now something to throw. I would still love some kind of weapon I could just pull out instead of having to go find a bag. Okay, let's not shoot our grain into the street where we can't get it back. Go inside, Francis. Good boy. There you go. And he just keeps getting more and more help. <laughs> Every time he comes by. There we go. In the back. Yeah, I, I said today on their Discord that uh, Francis was probably just part of the competition. You see the sabotage us for peeing in the bottle. We must stop him. Get him away from the bottles. Hey, okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah, um, piss hey. off. <laughs> Stupid Francis. Yeah, the security guard will be uh, added in the future. And I also made the suggestion 
which we talked about yesterday, uh, to add like uh, something of HR or a secretary who takes care of payments. Though today's update has already made a big improvement on because uh, normally uh, would it would be work time out eight now. And they would stop working. But he changed it so work time owed is now actually over time. And not for all the workers. Oh boy. Eh, I'll, I'll clean it up. Hold on, let me check how much beers are left. So this is about 100 liters of beer. Oh well. Let's keep going. They'll stop eventually when they run out of bottles, and then I can do a little cleanup. <laughs> Slasher, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. Oh, too far. Yeah, really the best tip in this game that I can give is uh, if you're putting something down, you know, drive to where you want it, press R to release, and then put it down. That way it doesn't glitch into the ground. Well tip. <laughs> but that's the one you will use the most. Oh yeah. Big mess, big mess. All the bottles. More pallets. There we go. Oh, I didn't need to turn that off. I'm just going to put them next to the truck. It's easier to get them in with the crane now than it is with the truck. Oh. No, it's not on top. Okay, very good. What the hell did you just do with your hand? Oh! And I, you know that I never noticed that? Look, he actually moves the lever. The new crane camera is very handy if you're trying to place it very precisely. Better start getting these pallets. Oh, let's see if we can get out of here. I honestly wish that the middle part was the... Okay, stop. I'm getting lag. Too, too many loose boxes. Oh, oh yeah. Do you see it's vibrating? They're all pushed against each other. No, no, we're gonna clean this up a little bit. And get them some new bottles too. Let's go. Oh yeah, it does go faster. Uh, with the forks and not with the forklift. His foot, feet move? Oh, oh yeah! I'll be. Oh, they do. Uh, I saw a little lag uh, appear. I was like, yeah, let's clean these bottles up first. We're gonna have to sell off... Uh, sell. Yeah, sell all this, send off the truck. Soon, anyway. With what we have now. Lever? Really? See, that's what happens when you uh, read a lot and don't watch a lot of TV. Oh, turn off the engine there, there we go. 
It's just like sewing and sewing. <laughs> yeah, th this is not good. Let's remove one box. Oh, it's like the whole place the side the, did a big sigh of relief there. God. I still have some pallets here. Let's use those because one pallet is one item and one box is one item. Generally in games, that's the case. Yeah. Uh, let's fill up this one because that one needs to go out of here first. I can't jump. Four twenty-four. Okay, let's get them out of here. And we're probably gonna have to order some more bottles. Hey, Michael. Yeah, the, it looked like the whole place was about to blow. Better to stop production for a moment and clean it up. Before all my bottles uh, go all over the place. There we go. Uh, let me see, we can fit seven in. So that's four, three more. And then the truck is full. We have one partial pallet because that was left over from a previous beer batch. And you can't put different beers on the same pallet. We know that now. A good test, a good test. Makes sense, honestly. Excuse me. Could you not? Row there. There you go. Oh, it already picked up another box. Yeah, the way the <laughs> the pallets really pick up all the loose boxes and such is really nice. Oop. Michael, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. Just cleaning up all the loose boxes. Don't worry about the engine running. I have the engine that doesn't use gas. <laughs> In case anyone was worried. And we got over 30 likes. You guys are absolutely amazing. Big amount of support there. Uh, the employee working the crane is not a bug. It is simply something that's coming in the future. It's announced on the roadmap. Twenty-four. There you go. I don't know if the extra bottle we had left over yesterday is uh, was still there. I didn't pay attention to it. And now it's all just, uh, yeah. That's a good question, because we couldn't mix different kinds of beers, right? Maybe it disappeared on, on Reload. I don't know. Or maybe the beer type doesn't really count until you have a full box, and it just disappeared in one of the boxes. Uh... The other engines are better, they're faster, but honestly, considering the amount of precision work we generally do, like trying to drive into there and maneuver around, the speed wasn't really an issue. I mean, I could, I could test out one of the other engines, that would be fun, honestly. 
Uh, but I like the no fuel usage because you don't have to run back every time to go get more fuel. <laughs> Uh, that's six. One more. Because there's already one pallet in there. Right, hold up. Box up. There you go. Is the game coming out for PlayStation 5? Um, there is something about other platforms here in the roadmap, but that's far off. Clearly, uh, he needs to like fix boxes, bugs, boxes, bugs. Um, they're gonna add more content to the game. I know crystals uh, helping as well, but oh, I almost pushed it into the floor there. So, um, and then it would have to be ported, and to do that, it's quite a big investment. Not just of money, but also in time for the programming and everything. It's not so easy to just port a game from one console to another, in this case the PC, to a console. But it would have to be more stable than, than it is right now. Okay, let's load them up. That's all for the future. One moment. It's uh, it's very cold and dry here at the moment. So occasionally I need to, because I'm yapping a lot, I need to, one, get something to drink a bit more often, and two, put some cream on my lips. Or what do you call that? Vaseline? I guess it's just Vaseline, right? But <laughs> I can't really name the brand. Or at least you're not supposed to. I should have put that one in the front, really, but it's okay. we go. The crane is so satisfying. And it would be handy to have a worker. But the thing is, the, what I think is going to happen with the crane worker is that you're going to have to put the... What are you doing? My cat's, do, my cat's being weird. But then, you know, he's, he's red, so he's supposed to be weird. <laughs> Red cats are always a bit bit odd compared to uh, the other colors. Right, Edgar? <laughs> um, put uh, pallets on shelves. I did that in my previous playthrough. I started over because we simply, well... One, there were so many changes in the game at that point that I thought starting over would be better. Let me see, because there was another palette, right? Yeah, there it is. This is the new camera. It is handy. Don't, need, don't always need it. There you go. It's a very, very weird point of view, though. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. And that's, I me mean, think, a full truck. Yep. Um, so in a previous playthrough, I had all of these filled with pallets. But what happened this time was really, I immediately took it downstairs to the brewing area because that's where I needed them. I don't know why I just walked away from that room because no, hold on, I'm doing the wrong order. B. There you go. Um, we could. There's a computer there too. We can sell from. Cats are always weird. Yeah, that's true. Global markets. How are we doing on the multiplier? Ah! 1.33. 
That's not very good, but we can't order another truck, can we? Until we sell it. Yeah, it's 45 minutes. That's a long time. But honestly, considering how often uh, I, I stream very long, it's not that long. What I can do is just continue making beer with what we have and like stack that up here and then maybe we, when we have a better multiplier we'll sell them all in one go should we do that i don't have a whole lot of money at the moment so oh i, I lifted that just in time <laughs> so what's going to be the issue is probably workers pay But hell, I could even take a small loan and immediately pay that off after we... How did that full pallet get all the way over there? Did it just get launched? It must have been. I just think uh, I've seen multipliers of 2.13 and uh, most of all, most of them were like 1.8 around. So selling them at 1.3 seems like such a waste of money. I mean, if I have to, I will do it, sure. That's just a question of a bit of luck, he thinks. Both. Can they be both? They can be both. Uh, lip balm, thank you. Hey, Gordon helps me out sometimes when I can't think of, a, of the English word. Um, we have a specific brand for lip balm that is generally also what we call it. You know how that goes. Sometimes a brand gets so popular that it becomes the standard name for the whole product. Duct tape. Stanley knife. Things like that. Those started out as brands. If you get too popular, you can even lose your brand name or your rights to the name. It's a thing. But yeah. Uh, finish the construction to unlock the brewery. Um. I'm trying to remember what point of the game that is. I think you need to build, uh, unlock the building at that point. If I'm not mistaken. Give me one moment. Put it in storage. I don't mind interrupting the help out. There you go. That way to give myself a little bit of space. And off we go. I really need to put a coffee machine here, but I can't afford it right now. Hey, this here, here's where I need a coffee machine. But <laughs> there's a very nice canteen over here, but it doesn't have a coffee machine. Here, so what you have over here about upgrades and construction. So you said brewery, right? Finish the construction to unlock the brewery. No, it's to unlock the brewery. What did you have to make before you could do that? I'm trying to remember. Finish the construction. Finish the construction of what? I'm sorry, I don't remember at what point you were making what. Do they mean the shelving? Yeah, you do need money. Um, at the start of the game, you need to get, um, basically fulfill a lot of contracts for the grain. So my tip is to get two workers. Um, you need to upgrade them. Uh, well, one will have already been, you know, putting bags on the on the conveyor belt. He might be high enough level now to get to uh, to do the other side. So. You're just ordering grain, 
putting them. Oh, I need to make a coffee. I can't sprint. Um, so you have one worker here. And, you know, I have two of these connected to that machine. There you go. Uh, this worker needs to be... Uh, what level are they again when you hire them? Well, plus one. And then this one needs to be a couple of levels higher, I think, if I remember correctly. Mine, well, after working here, mine was already high enough to work there. Then I hired a new one for here, and I was just bringing in grain and putting this into contracts. And I made money that way. And you can do it quite quickly to get... Uh... You're welcome, cowgirl. Um... You can get money for the brewery quite quickly. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You just need to fulfill a couple of... Well, a couple, quite a few of contracts. Just make sure you have a bunch of contracts activated at the same time. So that whatever you put in too much for one contract, it'll just flow over to the next one. That way you don't have to send off partial products pallets of grain there were too many peas in that sentence I'm sorry I got stuck <laughs> uh, crush 50 was is a quest but after that you need to crush a whole lot more to get enough money because you don't need to just money keep in mind once you've made beer in the brewery you can't sell that beer you need the bottling and the docks to actually sell your beer. It's a little bit unclear at the start of the game. I'll, I'll give you that. Hold on. That's... That? No, that's not good. Connect a little bit further back, I think. That's too far. It looks wobbly. I think it's hitting the side, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, no, just keep going with the contracts and make sure you always have enough money to buy enough grain to fulfill a contract. Keep that just, you know, as a reserve. I know you can take a loan, but it's, yeah. It's honestly a bit of a waste, especially at the start of the game. I don't mind doing it to, like, speed things up a little bit here and there, but I try to avoid it. Because loaning money costs money. That works both for games and real life. <laughs> I think you can continue from the playtest. But considering the huge amount of um, fixes and patches and bug everything that he's sent out so far. I wouldn't recommend it. I recommend starting over. In fact... I recommend deleting the folder in your app data and then installing the game and starting over. That way no bugs from the playtest can follow you along. I mean it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to, but it's such a small effort to prevent future issues that yeah, why wouldn't you? It will auto-update. That is true. But... Yeah. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> no, I just realized that Osaka went to bed and I hope he turned the heater off. Because it's getting warm in here. <laughs> Uh, the thing is, he's, he's a lot taller than I am. I can't reach it at the moment. It's blocked by a lot of stuff. Let me see. Can I... Yeah, there we go. I got it. Oh, look at that. We're already cleaning up nicely in here. I had too many loose boxes lying around. So I had to do a bit of cleanup. But we can start the bottling machines again soon. Bugs and chocolate go good. What? <laughs> Ask Edgar. He's the one who ate uh, ate bugs on camera. 
yes, they should have fixed the conveyors. The thing is, I simply have not been able to make enough money to really afford a bunch of conveyor belts. Because <laughs> I've been investing everything in buying grain. And I'm now waiting on a good... Well, we'll see. I'm, I'm just continuing to play... And we'll see if I can afford to wait with selling this grain till we have a better multiplier. Yeah, I'm gonna check up on the heater. Give me one moment, guys. I'll be right back. Pause it for a moment. Already. Hold on, got my socks flipped. <laughs> okay. Looks like he turned it off. Just in case we get... Uh, it becomes like uh, 30 degrees in here in a bit. That's a bit of a waste of gas. To move some stuff around to get to it. Let me take a drink. The central heating also always makes it so dry in here. We try not to have it running too often, but uh, it is cold. Did we get all the pallets? I think we did. Let me see. I know you can't raise the price of beer. Uh, what was the calculation again? The dev showed me... It was like the, the base price of... Well, it's... It's the price of grain, you know, plus the price of hop. And, you know, times the amount you used. So you basically... Everything you paid for the grain and the hops. And the yeast and the pallet. And the water. And then times 3.25. That's supposed to be it. Oop. Oh. Uh, that does mean that if you uh, buy on sale, you you don't earn less. That's what that's what I want to say. You just pay less. Clean up all those boxes. So it's the base price. It's the price you would pay when you order with a little truck. If you pay less when ordering with the, the world market, uh, that's your profit. Hey Crystal, what you miss? Everything. Um, most importantly, we can't go up the ramp from the brewery to the milling room anymore with the forklift. Well, you can if you use the turbo and pray. <laughs> that was the most important part, I think, bug-wise. Other than that, I made a whole lot of beer. <laughs> And I still get stuck in the ramps now with the with the bouncy uh, <laughs> the bouncy horse, as I call it. But we no longer teleport. The workers now 
are require uh, pay less often because work time owed is now per time and not per time and per worker. I'm really happy with that. You made cake, strawberry and lemon. That sounds delish. Yeah, the crane is, takes very little getting used to, in my opinion. Uh, the scroll wheel affects the speed, so you can have it go uh, quite fast across the room. All right, time to add some bottles. Let's shoot if I can. They're very sturdy bottles, don't worry. Oh wait, you know what? Let's remove these pallets. That's gonna save me some trouble. I need to get a lot more pallets over here. And I need to buy more bottles. Or maybe I should just sell that uh, truck. I was just bumped out by the 1.3 multiplier. It's not super good. Uh, actually, let's put you here. I have more pallets downstairs. So I'll have to go get those. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I forgot this one. I'm emptying this one so I can easily drive the other ones into the room. You find a way to uh, charge your laptop while using it. That is very handy, yes. Hey, Patrick. Uh... Yeah, you do need to... That, that is the trick, Gibbles. But you didn't have to before. And also it spawns with your forks all the way at the bottom. So if you drive up a ramp like this, uh, you will hit the ramp, flash, like, duck forward and go bouncy, 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 bouncy. <laughs> Hospital roll under the bed to Oh, those! Yeah! That is handy. Those tables. I, I got myself into a corner there. Hold on, I need to change my angle here. First we go here, then here. Push it in. Lower it. And out. I went to sideways uh, in there that would have got me stuck because you need to get out straight oh no it's another patrick <laughs> they're multiplying uh what's the best way to make money you know what i haven't compared have to calculate I'm the I would assume it would be beer because that's the whole point of the game but that's a good question oh boy that's gonna bother me for a bit <laughs> usually I'm quite quick with those kinds of calculations but I've been so focused on making beer that I didn't even think to check that I know I'm putting them in a bit weird, but that means I can just drive out of the room like so. Okay, what I need to do is get myself a cup of coffee and run down to get some pallets. And I can check on the pricing of the grain. Yeah, I know we have some over there, but most of them are all downstairs. Let me see. So if we go to the contracts, right? Uh, Crystal actually made a calculator for the profit uh, on these. It's a hint in the Beer Factory channel on my Discord. Let me check something. So 
Um, okay, let's say we make 612. Oh, I didn't mean to pop in there. 613 bucks for 23 bottles. You pay 10 per per bag? Did you not? Oh, no, I because I missed I make the I made a little boo boo there. Hold on. Again. Divided by 23 minus 10. So that's a profit of 16 dollars per bag yeah because you if you buy you get the pallets and if you sell you you get the pallet you give the pallets away again so you can cross those out no because you do pay for it and you don't get paid for it well it's included in this so that would make it a little less it <laughs> I would have to make a whole calculation for the beer because oh that you made a, c a calculator for the profit on the contract cadbury almond chocolate oh my i still have one of those um we, yeah basically they're called marzipan bread but they're marzipan uh, the good the good stuff from germany uh covered in dark chocolate and it's one of my favorite things to have around the holidays. I have leftover. Um, I got it in Germany. Always. Uh, I don't know why. Often better there. Those kinds of snacks. People always rave about Swiss chocolate and Belgian chocolate. And For uh, some Belgian chocolate is really good, a uh, Codor. But I, I once got a very, very expensive little box from Godiva. It was bad. It was really bad. I didn't like it at all. I think it might be faster, actually, if we go this way. Maybe I just had bad luck and got it in a too, too touristy area. We were in Brussels at the time. Okay, setup is good. We're probably a bit short on bottles, but this is enough to get us going again. I had to clean up the mess. Uh, <laughs> color of the contract that's a good question I didn't pay much attention to that I I don't think it matters I mean there's a couple of bugs of difference How much are you? 28. Do the red ones pay better? No, because this one pays better than this one. A lot better, because there's only one bag of difference. But these two are the same, and this one pays better. I think it's just random? Because they're the same company. No idea. I haven't noticed the difference. <laughs> you got you got some cake in your shirt. Not strawberry. No. I mean, it's not maybe not as bad as cherry, but it's still still stains. <laughs> Happy birthday, Michael.
this way. Sorry. Oh, I need to... Well, I don't need to, but it's probably smart to pay my workers soon. Um... I'm gonna put you on cleaning for a little bit, because we don't have any grain grind right now. Just in case Francis shows up and makes a mess. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. This way. I always put my pallets there, but I need them over here now. Nope. <laughs> Don't you get lost in the building. One more. Let's see. Your factory channel. Hold on. Let me copy. <laughs> okay, get my chat back up front. There you go. That's the, but it's just for the grain. It's not for the beer. For the beer, we'll have to make a calculation. But it's... Um, yeah, so it's, it's 10 times the crushed grains. Well, actually, no, is it 20? Oh, that's, that I actually don't know if it's calculated with the crushed grain price or the normal grain price. I'll have to check that. But let's say it was the, uh, the the normal grain price. It would be 10 times the amount of grain used for your beer. But he, he changed the amounts, didn't he, today? I wonder if we now make less for the beer. That would be really unfair to me because I, I made this with the... No, I guess the beer knows how much was used, right? Programming-wise. Ah, we'll see. Nothing we can do about it now. <laughs> okay, got those ready. There, now it falls into that pallet. Whatever falls next to it, we can clean up in a bit. Mine's in uh, less than a month. <laughs> My birthday. Uh, so let me see here. Yeah, I can't really check how much goes in there now, what the difference is. We're gonna have to order water. Okay, I think we can wait those 15 minutes, right, to get a better price. Well, it's, it's probably going to take a little longer to get the new, the new bonus price. But yeah, the difference between 1.3 multiplier and 1.8 is, is half of the total you're going to earn. So, well, from the base price. That's 0 0.5, so that's quite a bit. We still have 320 liters. I have no use yet to hire more people at the moment. Eventually, I would love to have just, you know, two people working here. Have a bunch working in the brewery. 
two or three on bottling. I could add another bottling machine here, but really it would make a big mess. That one is full. Let's start moving again. So what I'm trying to do right now is um, just get ready to sell all my beer. But wait until we get a better multiplier. And hopefully we might be unlucky and get a lower one. But considering I haven't seen lower than 1.3, there's a good chance we'll get more. Sell all the workers for more coffee. Yes. Damn. Speaking of coffee. Oh, I'm still helpful. Uh, yeah, I prefer not to throw full beer at them. Because if that gets lost, that's a bit of a waste. But a bag of grain is not a big one. Come here, bastard. <laughs> Ricochet. Where's my bag? Oh, it's all the way over here. <laughs> no, not in the beer. Lost me back to green. <laughs> Fine, we're using beer. It's, it's harder anyway. Oh, he's, oh no, he's out. Okay, that the beer doesn't throw well. Ha! <laughs> The other back, probably somewhere under those pallets. Or it fell through the floor and it's here now. Oh, oh, I think. Oh, damn, he was in the office. He's being extra sneaky today. Also, he gets extra health every time he spawns. <coughs> So it gets harder and harder. There we go. Oh, we got all the okay, upgrades. Yeah, we got, got money it. for this yeah, one. I'm leaving. Good. Go away. We got free monies. That's how I like my monies. Free. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Correct. I couldn't, uh, but I think I placed it too close together, and that's why it didn't work. We're getting uh, some lag again there. Let me help you out here. Okay, that's better. Okay, back to the forklift. Hey, Blue! If you give Francis a beer, he's gonna want peanuts. Yeah, he's certainly not gonna stop for a beer. I 
I just realized it's gonna be really hard to get it in that corner without the grain crane isn't it here's what I can do I can easily put it on the bottom shelf or the or under the shelf really without the crane and then the top shelf we can use the crane for oh that's too far sorry there you go Uh, it was still 15 minutes just a little bit ago. And then you need to wait for a new one to appear. It stays on zero for a little bit. I don't know why. Might be a little bug. In the meantime, we're just moving more beer. And then we can just... When we have the new multiplier, we can sell what we have in the truck, order a new truck. Fill it up with the grain, sell that. How many do we have ready? Uh, so this is eight. Eight is one layer in the big truck. So if we get eight more, we'll have another truck full. You love the spoiler? <laughs> I was like, spoiler? What spoiler? <laughs> no, you mean the spoiler on the... I just got a new one, but I like this one. It's quite big. Look, they have a little light under the car, too, in the same color. I thought it fit well. Um, I don't know if the worker's ever going to be able to use the forklift and such. I think we have a loose box here. Yeah. But they'll be able to use the crane and um, use storage. So they'll be able to use the storage. I think we're gonna have to do a lot of moving still ourselves. Even let me just put this on the floor. I think that shouldn't be a problem here. Can we? Yeah, we can. I was worried about the height there. Oh, nope, nope. That's a no for me. It gets pushed down. It's fine. We'll just uh, up, release. We'll put it here. We'll use the crane. Or we we'll just use the crane and put it in the truck right away maybe that's easier it's gonna save us some time i was wondering the same thing gibbles how many people joined the discord giveaway from the developer but you can't tell it's uh it's invisible me thinks we're gonna need to have to stop the beer production for a little bit before this uh, before we get flooded by boxes I'm gonna have to buy more pallets too so when we sell all this oh. harder harder Bob There you go. Uh, yeah. Clean a little, clean up a little bit. Yeah, twenty-four. Let me go check up on that multiplier. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter much which way we go. I think this is a little closer. Hey, Mike. Yeah, Rob can't always be here. <laughs> we have an Edgar today. <laughs> Thank you, Edgar. Hey, Eleven Boy. Have fun. 
no, this one is still on four point, uh, well, over four, almost five minutes. Let's just keep it on five minutes. Okay, I think I think on the whole hour we might be able to get a new, a new multiplier. A couple minutes. Well, in the meantime, we can just move all this beer. No time wasted for that. Go. So, hey, Stephen. We'll just put it in front of the, the store. Just I couldn't put it under there. It was pushed into the ground. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Trying to avoid that pallet there. Almost on 50 likes already. It's going very fast. Wonderful. You've all been such an enormous support, both to me and my channel and the developer. He's getting so much feedback. I've been trying to help a little bit with, like, you know, if someone had a bug that had an easy solution or was asked in German. I don't think they, uh, he speaks German. He's French. The fact that his English is so good is just... <laughs> okay, let's not make too much fun of the French today. Ah, who am I kidding? The fact that he speaks English that well is a bloody miracle. <laughs> I'm European. I'm supposed to make fun of the French. The truck is bugged? Which one? The little one? You mean the, the little white truck that stops at the front? We have multiple trucks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy pallets and bottles once I have some money again. Well, I could buy pallets now, but not bottles. Or not enough anymore. I'm underrated? Well, thank you. I, uh, I'm really, really happy you're all here. It's... You know, I recently saw some posts of people like, uh... Ah, oh, they... YouTubers, they upload one video in a, way, in a week and they make ten times what a normal person makes. And... That's... That's like maybe five people on the whole of YouTube. And then you have some of the big boys. They stream... Every day. Multiple streams. And I've been, I've been, uh, I often do multiple streams, but I, I've been too busy doing this game right now. But most, most YouTubers, they don't make near minimum wage. I don't. But I have the opportunity to, to put in the time and effort to grow my channel and hopefully. One day I will have an actual normal wage. And we'll, we'll go out to eat to celebrate if we do. I, I'll do giveaways on the channel if I ever make minimum wage with, this, <laughs> with my channel. How about that? So, no, I think it's absolutely fantastic that you're all here. And, uh, and subscribing and liking and chatting and... Went to eat supper? Well, yeah, that's necessary. I had, uh, let's see, Osaka had a, uh, like a, a New Year's uh, drinky, eaty thing with work. Oh, that didn't go well. Turned too early. So I, I had a very easy, what do you call that? It, it, it's not a microwave. No, it's not microwave. I put it in the oven. A pre-made lasagna. That's the right word, pre-made. It's not frozen. It's from the fridge. 
And you just toss up some cheese and you put it in the oven and it's ready and it's glorious. <laughs> I like cooking. I cook a lot. Uh, Osaka cooks too, which is amazing uh, that we share that job. Sure. Sure is a better word. Um, but yeah, sometimes just throwing something in the oven is very nice. But they miss. Not everyone can be Simon Wister. I don't. I don't know who that is. But 50 channels with constant content. Yeah, but the thing is, at the point that someone reaches that, they'll have people who think of content for them. They'll have people who edit. They'll even have people who record and then they can do a voiceover. Or it depends on what kind of content they make, of course. But especially editing. And then they have someone to do their finances for them. Because you have to keep in mind, I keep track of everything, right? Because Vimalas is also a company. I have to pay taxes. <laughs> on everything too which is really mean because I, I can't even I can barely afford food with the amount I earn and I just still have to pay taxes but yeah that's how it goes any kind of income they'll tax I'll give us I have to be honest I see people doing three streams a day and I'm sitting there like how the hell did you do that It's, uh, yeah. Well, maybe, yeah, they do do shorter than I do. I will be going back to my normal time of about three, three and a half hours soon. And then I'll be adding some, some more games. I just got some new, um, also simulator games. But, uh, new cycles coming soon. That's fun. I thought I... Yeah, we're haunted. I thought I saw something walk there. Of course, Nightingale is coming soon. That's gonna be great. It's a bit of a different game, but boy, it's gorgeous. They're different than this, I mean. What's my favorite dish to make? Well, to make is probably just ordering ordering in because it's no work whatsoever because there's a difference between what i like to make and what i like to eat does that make sense because something can be glorious to eat like i um i have a recipe for uh, it's called a turkey tonato it's basically uh either leftover turkey or i usually have a turkey breast i uh, i cook sous vide and then you make like a tuna mayo to put up it uh, on it, on it. I mean, and then you make a whole whole salad on top with a dressing. And oh, I love that. That's very good. I should make that again soon. Yeah, I have lo loads of dishes. Um, recently made onion soup, which was really good, like from scratch with actual onions, <laughs> not fake onions. Bit of white wine. I've been making tomato soup soon. Also from well with canned tomatoes, but still scratch, I would call that. That's something I cook often. Yeah, we got our our standard dishes. I'm thinking. Like uh, meatballs filled with mozzarella and then in like a vegetable tomato sauce. Um, got an oven dish with chicken and then a very spicy creamy sauce on top, like a buffalo sauce. But then thicker and creamy. <laughs> Making me hungry, yeah. Meat pie. I like that. But I've made curries too, um, beef rendang, which is Indonesian, 
to make that in the past. That was really good. I'm just thinking about dishes I should honestly make again soon. I love a good beef rendang. It's like with coca, uh, cocos, coconut. Computer repair shop. Oh damn, I forgot about that one. I got a key for that, I think. Um, I've been so busy with this game that I seriously need to make choices. Because that's also part of being, you know, a content creator. Oh, didn't need to boot that hard. Uh, well, we can put this one in, in the rack. So obviously this game is quite popular right now. And it's doing well on the channel. If I play something else, am I not just, you know, cutting off... Oh, I forgot to let go. Cutting off my own foot, basically. Yep, meatloaf with barbecue sauce, chips and vegetables. You know what? I've never made meatloaf. It's not generally... We have meatballs here, which is a standard dish. But I never really grew up with that because my mom hated it. She was very much a... Well, she is very much a pasta person. And I'm not. I, I do like a good pasta, but... Can we get that, that one pallet out of there? That would be great. Oh, I got it. Then we can clean up the mess. Oh, I don't think this one is full, actually. It is not. Give me two more boxes. And... Uh... Let me see. Maybe we can get one more empty pallet like so. Yeah. And then we need we really need to go order some pallets too. Come on. There you go. Almost. Oh, I bumped into it and it picked up a whole lot of boxes. I mean, you, made, you just made me think of what I should cook next week. <laughs> Lots of options. Oh, it's a 5-0 for the hour. I think we should... When I place this one, we can check. Uh, see if we have a multiplier for the beer. A better one. So we had 1.33 and that's just not great. Obviously, 1 means you don't get anything extra. Well, maybe that's not obvious. I don't know. Let's go check. Save the game just in case. Pizza from the grocery store. Um, we actually... <laughs> this week has been so busy. Yesterday we ordered some curry. We have leftovers tomorrow. That was really good. We have a good curry place. And the day before that, we had a, <laughs> a frozen pizza, but it's a really, really good frozen pizza. Surprisingly good, even. Um, let me see. Yeah, distribution. 1.88. Yes. We got half the price, the basic price. Uh, but that one, this one's quite short. The other one was 45 minutes. Oh, look, look how small the order is. Oh, I'll have to... How much do we have in the truck? Can we see? Is this liters? That would be 366. Well, let's sell. Ole! It says 102. Yeah, I don't really want to reload. I'm wondering if it maybe only saw one type of beer. Ah, well, it's fine. We still got uh, 6,000, what, what was it, 400, something like that, ordering a new truck. 
for that truck and we have a whole well we have more than a whole truck don't we uh, that's eight yeah we actually have more bring her in it's the pink truck again okay let's go The last piece of cake was dinner. I, I can't really do that anymore. That's one of those things as a kid, you're like, oh, if when I'm adult, I can have candy for dinner. But then when you're an adult, it makes you sick and it's just so sad. <laughs> if I eat just sugar and coffee, I, I start vibrating in my chair, basically, and not in a good way. <laughs> Uh, what kind of curry? Uh, it's an Indian place. So I had a, what they call butter chicken. And Osaka had a vindaloo. And we had a couple of side dishes. That way it's enough for two times. We also often uh, order some extra... Uh, uh, sea kebab. Which is basically spiced meat rolls. Good. There you go. That's the bottom layer. Oh. Okay, I can just pull it out like that. That's handy. Yeah, we're gonna have to go over the. Nope. Nope. That was a little bit. Uh. There you go. I'm ready for my close-up. Jeez. <laughs> slow down and move in the middle here. There we go. Up to speed again. I think it was... Uh, I had the lamb, I think. A kebab. Mutton is not actually eaten here often. Same with goat. It's rare. Lamb, though, the, depending on where you are in the Netherlands. It's funny, right? Because it's such a small country, but it makes a difference. Uh, because if you go to the islands, uh, there we have a lot of sheep on the islands. So the restaurants will also offer a lot more lamb than they would on the mainland. Almost full again. Oh god, the multiplier wasn't for one type of beer, was it? Oh, I'll have to check. Because it would be a waste then if it's for the other beer. Uh, sorry, down. Come on, get in there. Oh, well. That works! <laughs> I let go by accident, but it just fell in. Pistachios? I do like some pistachios. Let's see, because this is all IPA. Just checking. Afghani chicken. That does sound good. Not familiar with it. Ah. Yeah, okay. I missed that. It, um, the export was just for the Pilsner. This one is for the IPA. But that means we had no no multiplier in the, um, some of the beer in the other truck. 
But we have 1.43 on this one. I think that is fine. Let's see, we're 6-6. 6, 6, 6,600. Oh, almost 10,000. 9,800 earned. Well, this is a very good example of the big difference the multiplier can make for you. Because I missed the multiplier on a lot of the beer because we I didn't notice it was for one specific beer on the truck and not two. Okay, that's good to know though that we shouldn't mix beers then. Or pay attention when we have double multipliers. But generally I would say don't mix beers. Because you can't mix them on the pallets and you need to have two multipliers if you mix them on the truck. So that's good to know. I have some pistachio nuts uh, just salted in shell. It might be a good snack later. I see. I'll see. I have so much stuff lying around. We have monies. What do we need? To do with those monies. We need pallets and bottles. Both. Um, after that we're gonna need to buy more grain. How much beer do we have? Still 245. That's a lot. Let's uh let's see if we can sell it all. In the meantime, let's start our first giveaway. Let me see. Beer Factory, it'll run for 20 minutes. You need to be subscribed. Start. Hold on, my screen isn't loading. Refresh. There we go. There she blows. Exclamation mark raffle in chat in about 20 minutes, a little longer. I'll see who won. If you won, you need to say hi in chat and send me a message on the Discord so I can actually send you your key. And I'm going to very quickly check if there's not been an update <laughs> since tonight. No. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Because he's been pumping them out so quickly. I'm just keeping an eye on it now. There you go. Make sure you got a ticket. Oh, we have some uh, we have some pallets here, actually. Okay. Oh, that's right. I did put you on cleaning, just in case. Because there was nothing much else to do here. We do need bottles, but that's not the best discount I've seen. I mean, I'm not a real min-maxer, but I do like to try and make the best profit. So, I, I really like the idea of buying, buying raw malt and crushing it myself. But the amount of driving you have to do is... Is more than doubled when you do that over buying just crushed melt. Um, why don't we buy a couple of pallets just so we can keep going? I wish I could buy pallets here, but I can't. And I'll buy a little bit of crushed malt too, so we can start our next batch of beer soon. I want to make another tank. Mm. Yeah, there you go. The rest is all not as good. Okay, delivery this way. Industrial. Ah, uh, no, don't use that one. Lady Katie, thank you very much for subscribing. Let's start with two pallets of pallets. Because that's going to be a lot of running back and forth either way.
Yes, you do need to be subscribed to be able to to win. I don't actually know if it blocks you from getting a ticket if you're not subscribed. I've never tested it. See, I really wish I could just take this pallet and take that with the forklift and unpack it elsewhere. But we can't. So, there we see blows. Goodbye. Uh, tip, if he doesn't drive off, make sure this little elevator is all the way to the top and then it should go all right we have more beer to make right i forgot a pallet one moment let me get that one out of that corner before we put down empty pallets Not the wheel. There we go. All the rafflers. All I see now in chat is raffle, raffle, raffle. <laughs> A little bit like badger, 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 badger. But different. And Gibbles has been a member for 12 months. I <laughs> need more beer with Thirsty. Well, it would go well with... Uh, the pistachio nuts, wouldn't it? But uh, I think we'll be we'll good for a little bit. Okay, there's our order as well. What I want to do is get the... Actually, do I... Oh, I can't drive backwards, that's right. I don't need the forklift by the bottling machine, I don't think. Yeah, let's just park here for a moment. I think I need it in the dock soon. Yeah, time to put down on the pallets. And then when the beer machines are running again, we'll uh, we'll empty that truck with orders. Lurking or playing, you and a lot of other people enjoy. <laughs> and everyone who bought or won the game. Please consider leaving a nice review for the dev. He's, uh, he's already brought out several patches just today and yesterday. And the day before too, but then the game wasn't out, so that wouldn't matter to you. He's working really hard. So some, some positive encouragement would really help. And if you have a bug, well, uh, put it on the, um, his Discord so he can uh, take a look at it. It's Discord, the game's Discord, I mean. I can't help you with all the bugs, unfortunately. I can give you tips, but I can't fix the game. Putting out some pallets here, cleaning up the empty boxes. There we go. Yeah, I think so too, Gordon. But I I can understand it, right? You buy a game, you run into some bugs. But the thing is, there uh, for me there is a this is a personal opinion, of course, but. For me, there's a difference between 
Leaving a bad review on a triple A game that's come out complete buggy. And a single indie developer who's working on a game and simply couldn't afford to put it in early access. Because that costs money. Uh, well, you know, you're not as visible, so basically you don't earn as much money. That's what I understood how it worked. So I think a single indie dev working on a game deserves more support than a triple A studio with 50 people who's bringing out a piece of trash. But that's my personal opinion. <coughs> I'm not nearly as strict. <laughs> hey Steve! Boop, boop. We've got 16 people in the giveaway in 11 minutes to go. Make sure you don't miss out if you don't have the game yet. I mean, I just think it's great. Like, um, I, c um, I complained a bit about the payment system. Just, just earlier today, before I had dinner. Uh, just a few hours ago. I was like, yeah, but the... The work time owed is one per person per block of time, right? You see next paycheck, that block of time. So when I have four workers, I get four work time owed after one block of time. Rude. Um, so the, it'll just respawn there. So I, I told him like it's going really fast. I would I would like it to take a little bit longer. And he, he had already made the time longer, too, before we released. And I, I read the patch notes before starting the stream, and he had already fixed it, and I thought that was pretty great. Okay, let's see if we can do this without... There you go. <laughs> without it going around. Oh, of course. Um, let's launch again. And actually, I need to empty the big truck before we start hauling more pallets. Because we need bottles. All the bottles. They only have one pallet left. So let's get those first. Oh, I see I need to unload some of the grain first. Well, let me get one pallet then for them. And I'll get, use the crane to get everything out. This way they can uh, fill bottles while I work. Me too, Gordon. I mean, it depends, of course. Um, if they're nice, that helps. <laughs> and it, it's a bit odd. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's a bit odd to say, maybe, because obviously it's also business. That, I let that one go too late. Um, but it does help for me. Yes. Uh, I have to think about the question, but yes, Steve, because I just ordered a bunch. See? Everything you order at the global market comes in here. And there you have your bottles. Let's go get the crane. And sort this order first. Before I can forget. Hey, you. Up the speed a bit. I'll put the grain, yeah, over here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to go that close. So I bought some crushed malt because, well, I really like the crusher and I, I like the idea of crushing my own grain, to be honest. Uh, also, it gives you more profit. Because you need to move everything yourself around the factory, it takes so much time to do that. And it's such a shame. Oh, <laughs> wrong button. If you could have... 
Um, if you could have workers moving around the uh, the raw grain to the crusher and the crushed grain to the brewery. Um, oh, I'm too high. There we go. Uh, that would that would save so much time. But honestly, buying crushed grain with a discount at the global market, I think that's just the way to go right now. Maybe in the future, I'll you know to get to keep the process keep the process as it's supposed to be. Well, actually, you can buy crushed grains in Snap, and there's no supposed to be. We'll see. I mean, once I actually have some money, it doesn't matter that much anymore. Okay. Get the bottles. We'll put those over here. Save me the drive. Oh, one moment. Got a cough. The air is very dry in here. That's better. <laughs> Our Gibbles is actually on exactly a year. Very nice. This way. I didn't, I didn't, that didn't even click for me. Grab this one first. What, uh... Oh, the heavy grain on top of the bottles. Yes. No, there's no date yet on when. Because there's only one developer and yeah, bug fixes will have priority right now. There's no date on there. But at least he's sharing on what the plans are for the future. So that's something to look forward to. Okay. You know, I have some money now. Let's b <laughs> I don't really need the computer here because I have one over there. But, we can build a coffee machine. Ah. Oh. Huh. It's magical coffee. It's going straight through the lid. Well, it goes straight through you anyway, right? Right. You got a lot of snow? Ah, hmm. oh, uh, We didn't get any snow. Even though it was quite cold the last few days. You know, I never did find that one bag again. Nope. Thought maybe it spawned there. Well, we need to be able to run. Where are you? There you are. Give me your money, Francis. Where, where's the money? Oh, that way. Mm. Don't shoot at the roads, because uh, you can't go in the road with a bad gun. Francis can too. Ah. Oh boy. Oh, I think it went onto the onto the pallet. Hold on. No. My mod. Me 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 me. I'm losing more bags than I ever had this uh, this stream. How weird. Probably one still in the brewery though. Right in the head. <laughs> but I didn't see you, huh? Oh, he's stuck in the ground. Okay. Okay. Oh. I didn't mean to kill him while he's stuck in the ground. Because now he's in the ground. And he might not be able to leave. 
Uh oh. I think he put down uh, some kind of cooldown on that though. Also, we can do a restart. Of the start of a new day, I should say. Yeah, this is starting to bother me. Come here. Actually, we can bring this one to the brewery too. Oh boy. Hell? Oh, I guess I didn't place that pallet right. Catch. <laughs> Hold up. Huh. So if you drop it, it doesn't pick up the boxes, but if you throw it, it does. Interesting. Yeah, see, he's, he's stuck there now. Oh, too hard. Oh, well. King? Oh! Francis made a mess and my cleaner immediately came to clean it up. <laughs> yeah, let's let it go for a little bit. I have more pallets. Let's do this first. Hey, Ricky. You can't brew any more brew beer in the tank. No, I no idea. Did you start another batch? Uh, no, at a certain point you have all the updates for your forklift. So he starts dropping money. I need to move those pallets first. Oh, perfect! <laughs> oh, oh, no! Come here, you. Brute. Oh, I missed. Guess we'll use it here. There you go. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it be for a little bit. I'll come clean up in just a moment. Hold on. Okay, let me get these bottles. We'll see who won the giveaway. Uh, up, release, and down. If yeah, you need to empty the tank to be able to make more beer then you need to make uh, start a new batch you need to make sure you bought more water that's also a tip yeah so let me let me think here you need to the, the tank needs to be empty you, um, you can use an old recipe but it will have zero, zero popularity so you can make a new recipe you need to, uh, to order water and, and accept the water, so turn, uh, you know, open the valve. It needs to be actually in the tank. Then you need to start another batch. And then you should be able to uh, put in the grain. Or your workers can. If they're the high enough level. Uh, 
I can't really show you exactly right now because I still have beer in my tank. If you give me a moment, I'll start another batch. I can build another tank. I just... Uh, oh, yeah, I need to order... That's a good one, actually. I, oh, that's not far enough. Hold on. A first release and then that. Uh, I need to order more water. I can buy a second tank, but at that point... I'm thinking... Because we've seen, right, that mixing beer on the pallets it doesn't work. And on the big truck, it basically messes with your... Uh, with your multiplier, unless you have two multipliers going, which I had the second time around. Maybe we should set up a bottling area separate in the other hallway. It's going to be a little bit tricky for placement and for moving of bottles and beer. But it is doable. I would like that, having a separate... I don't think we can put it here. That would be nice. Ah, uh, you discarded the rest of the beer. You could have just bottled it and sold it. But then if you re Why am I bouncy suddenly? I don't know. Um, didn't I order six pallets? Yeah, I did order six pallets, but they immediately emptied one. Yeah, we're gonna need more pallets. Hold on. <laughs> One thing, how much beer do we have left in this uh, this tank? They're both using the same tank at the moment. Still 125. Is it just me or are we getting a lot more beer? Did I make more? Maybe I made more beer. I upgraded the tank, yes, I made more beer. But first, we're going to see who won. And it's... Naga! <laughs> Did you bribe Streamlabs or something? <laughs> she wins a lot of times. No, it's everyone has the same chance to win, so it's just luck. Naga, please say something in chat so I know you know you won. Thanks everyone for over 60 likes. There, finally. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You did, you did try the other. Uh... Screen looks weird for a moment. You did try the other giveaways too. Congratulations. I'll uh, send you your key after the stream. There will be a second giveaway in, well, a little bit bit more to the end of the stream. That's a weird, weird effect there. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I have my, I have my coffee. Yes. Yeah, we're going to need more pallets. <laughs> I have some downstairs still too we can get. Uh, I, I hear things uh, make a lot of noise. Stop the machine. Stop. <laughs> oh, it was all pushing sideways. So, oh, sorry, buddy. I stopped it just as he wanted to put that down. I heard the <laughs> all the bottles just ding 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 ding. That's not a good sign.
all the beer. Let's see how many trucks we can fill up. Oh, that one is full. How many trucks we can fill up with the beer we have now. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Hold on. I can't jump here. Palette's a bit in the way. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can... Look, Mommy, I can climb. Oh, that's that's great. The UI is quite big, so I'm trying to get this out of my screen. Okay, there we go. French fried bread. Do you mean French toast? But you put your finger on the frying pan. Well, don't. Ow. Almost 69 likes. Almost giggity. <laughs> oh, that reminds me that um, Osaka was making dinner, but he put... Um, a lid of a pan, cast iron pan, in the sink, and I wanted to wash my hands. So I just picked up. Well, I didn't pick it up. I touched the lid. Oh, I have burns on four fingers, like the tips of my fingers. That's that was bad. That was really bad. Oh, yeah. Looks like we're out. I don't have more pallets here. I thought I did. It was a lie. Chicken dumpling soup. Very nice. With a whiskey and a Coke. I still have apple juice in the fridge. And uh, people are like, well, <laughs> well, who cares about apple juice? Well, uh, Mark, uh, one of my... Uh, long time members and viewers once designed a cocktail for me called Nima's Hammer and Nima's Hammer is um, you know it was it's called different in America it's not apple juice I have a cloudy apple juice because I can't really get what they use but basically I use that very good cloudy thick apple juice with um, I think you guys got an apple cider but it's non-alcoholic and we don't really have that distinction. We only have alcoholic apple cider. So you add, what was it? Um, I'm looking for loose boxes. There we go. I had to make some adjustments for European things to put in there. But uh, Calvados and a fire, uh, like not a fireball. I have a Tennessee fire, I think. It's like a cinnamon whiskey. So it's an apple cinnamon alcoholic hot drink. It's very good. It hurts, I know. I hate burns. Uh, we have a fam basically a family curse where um, everyone on my mom's side of the family, at least the women, uh, we burn ourselves on everything we can burn ourselves on. Yeah, but we don't call it cider. If you get a cider here, uh, you will get um, an alcoholic drink. And that's not what he meant with the recipe. Because you add more alcohol. <laughs> it's very good. It's like apple and cinnamon. I'll make that later tonight. Kittens. No fighting. No biting. I win every time. Yeah, they're brother and sister. They, <laughs> they like to annoy each other. Oh, hold on. Let me turn it. There, I turned the heated blanket back on. That should help. It, it, if it's clear in yellow... If, no, wait. It, if it's clear in yellow, you get juice there, fella. If it's tangy and brown, 
You're in Cider Town. Ah. Huh. But yeah, we don't have any brown. I'll I'll take a picture after the stream of what I have. Like we simply have different stuff here. We have different types of apple juice. It's either cloudy or clear. I prefer, much prefer the cloudy. Well, I wouldn't call them kittens. They're not exactly small, but uh, yes, I have three cats. We have, uh, <laughs> don't you scream with me. Yeah, okay, but that's good to know, Edgar. Thanks. That does clear it up a bit. Uh, I see that that one's not full yet. Yeah, yeah there we go. Trying to get to some of the loose boxes here. There you go. That one's full. Yeah, I need to I need to clean up. I think we might have a little bit of lag here and there. I don't think the stream is really bothered by it, is it? Let's look like it go faster. Oh, is that from The Simpsons? Okay, I should have I should have known that. So the, the little cat you see on screen is... That's your fault. <laughs> screen is Freya, or the flu, basically. She's uh, <clears throat> she's based on my, uh, my real life cat, Freya, who's now, I think she's, she eight, nine? I'll have to check her password. And I have two younger ones who are probably two now. Yeah, we've had them about a year, so two. And, uh, well, they said they were brother and sister and they grew up together. So I consider them brother and sister. If they really have the same mom, I don't know. Because they look very different. Um, the pallets don't stick to the planks. If you hit the planks, or sorry, if you hit the pallet with another pallet, it'll bounce right off. So you have to be gentle. But the trick is to, okay, hold up. Let me just get another pallet and let me show you. That's easier than explaining. I really need to get another drink soon too. Right, I was also supposed to just try out one of the other engines, see if we can go a little faster, how that goes. Yeah, I stopped the bottlers for a little bit because uh, they were making a lot of beer really fast. <coughs> okay, so I'll show you and I'll tell you exactly what buttons I press. Uh, keep in mind that I might have switched around some buttons uh, on the bay in the you know, the standard ones. So, let's straighten it up a little bit so we don't hit the edges and you don't hit the back wall. Always put your your storage a little bit away from the wall. Okay, we go above it. Okay. Don't hit the other pallet. Don't go into the other the, the sides. I'm not really straightening it out here, am I? Okay, there you go. See, I'm above it. I release with R, I release the pallet and then go down. If I do this while I'm in, um, while it's stuck to the fork, she'll go through it. So you need to be above the plank, release and down. That's the trick. Same with the floor too, because if you put your forks all the way down with a pallet on it, you let go the pallet is in the floor and it'll pop up 
And I try to avoid collisions as much as I can. Because that's one of the main issues with the game currently. Is collisions. But you can avoid them with a little bit of practice. Can you place three pallets in one section? I don't think so. I think it's too small. Uh... There's an upgrade in the store for having three pallets? What? You mean three plaques? Really? Turn off the engine there. Did I miss something? I'm not sure what you mean with the... Uh Yeah, because this plank shows you three, right? Is that what you meant? Oh yeah, there's been a couple of patches today. It's going fast. Well, the, no, you can only place two planks. I tried though, but it shows three here. No, upgraded storages solution to store more then you get three planks but I, it's locked what level do we need you're right I don't have this do you Timmy do you know when you unlock this because I haven't seen it unlocked yet maybe I need to be like level 10 I don't know that's a good one. I hadn't even realized I was missing an upgrade. Oh, that's possible too. Future up update. Yes. Wait, pay my workers. Since I'm at the computer. Richard, thank you very much for subscribing. Well, either we need a bunch more levels. Or... It's a future update. Yeah, we'll put him to work soon too. So what I was thinking, if we have two brute tanks, do we maybe need to set up... The problem is that this door is small. And it's even blocked. So we can't get there with the forklift. And if we do it here... Honestly, we could. I'm just... I'm worried about blocking the ramp and blocking this door. Obviously, this space would be perfect, right? But the problem is this door is very small. We'd have to go around. Now, is it a problem? No. Does it cost me a lot of time? Yes. Okay, so keep in mind we do need room for pallets too. But I wonder if we can put those... Okay, let's say I put this one against the wall. I can actually put it through the wall. You're not supposed to do that. Uh, okay, let's say we put that here, right? And we put a pallet holder over there. Making it fit. Yeah, this is going to be an issue. Keep in mind, I would have to put pallets here to catch the beer. But going in, in and out of this area would be an issue if I do that. That's the biggest downside in this game with the... The conveyor belts. Is that not only can you not go outside... Yeah, same issue again. Uh, so not only can you not go outside uh, with the conveyor belts, it takes up so much space, you're blocking your route. Yeah, how, how do you sell something? X, X, yeah. Uh, but I don't want to sell it. 
I want a second brew tank and a second bottling area. That's what I want. I'm worried that the worker is not going to be able to put the bottles on there like this. I'm thinking. So I could put one more here. I could uh, put a pallet here and still drive here. It's gonna. It's not gonna be perfect. Yeah, we, we really need a bigger door here so we can reach there with the... At first I thought, like, because this door here, this area here is closed off right at the start. So it's uh, to prevent you from taking your forklift back here before you unlock stuff. But really, who cares? So you can reach this square with nothing here, but it doesn't matter. Hmm. Stack them on top of each other. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> I'm just thinking ahead. Like we're... Um, no, no, no. You need to put the... So if we build a second tank and maybe make a second type of beer... Need to be able to see the screen though. Put it. Oh no, screen's here. Never mind. Well, as long as I don't put the pallets there, this could work. We could even make. Um, if I put another one next to here. We could make a conveyor belt. We could even put one here as well. And then we could make a conveyor belt go past here and take along all the beer to here. But it's going to be narrow, right? Because you're going to have to do, do this. If I do that, can I still drive there? I think I can. It might be a little tricky, but I can. Because if I do that, I don't need to put the pallets in front of all the beer. The only issue I can see with this is like, I can put down like four of these bottling machines here. The biggest issue is going to be that if I make multiple kinds of beer, they can't be mixed on the pallets. But we can deal with that if everything is coming out here. Yeah, we can do that. We can set up a ridiculous amount of bottling machines. <laughs> That's going to be fun to figure out. First, we need some money to do that. Let's go get rid of all this beer, shall we? Just puzzling, just seeing what we can do with that. Yeah. Has anyone confirmed that we can move and sell the conveyor belts now? I haven't tried it yet. You know, I'm driving all of this to storage, but I should just order a truck. Go up first. I mean, it looks neat, but it needs to go into the truck, so why put it in storage? That's the reason why I haven't built a whole lot of storage. I'm, I'm moving stuff quite quickly. I prefer not to have a whole lot in storage. I need to bring that down too, but that's needed for the next beer. But I can wait. Let us see. We need water. 
Hey, this is this this got cheaper. This was like I was like at four thousand. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> now it's more expensive. Um, I don't much care about the filling speed right now. Okay, let's order water. Then we uh, order a truck. Where are we at? What do you guys want? IPA. Ah, oh, man. This one must have been really short. It's on zero. 2.37. This is only going to last two minutes. We're not going to make that. And this is the Pilsner. We don't have any more Pilsner. So I'll check back at the moment we're ready to sell. Because... Oh, I need the crane. Right now, that none of those are going to be uh, valid. Where did I put that pallet? Over here? Yes. There you go. If I have the speed so high, it's uh, it it's hard to get in the middle. There you go. <clears throat> yes, I thought two bobbin machines per tank would be a good one, though. Obviously, in the future, now that I upgraded the water tank and we can hold more water. We'll be able to make bigger batches of beer. Which means that even four bottling machines might just be a good idea. We can also put a third one in the bottling room. That should be possible. We can even put four in there. But that's going to be tricky. Because we'd have to put it sideways compared to the other ones. Okay, let's put these in and connect the water so we can... That can fill. Okay, so I, I need to make sure I'm still making money, but then we can also start focusing a little bit on automation. Okay, that's set. Yeah, this needs to go downstairs when we start brewing. Coming! This, uh, I don't have to speed. I think I have to speed upgrade it once, but it's not very fast. It's going to take a while. Yeah, I haven't really experimented with the conveyor belts a lot. It's gonna be uh, a bit tricky. But with the bottling machines now pushing the bottles forward instead of sideways, that's gonna help a lot with getting it on the belt. If I want to get it in there, I'm going to have to align it straight. Oh, yeah, it's a little bumpy. Hold on. Come on, straighten out. There you go. Uh, oh, there. I couldn't go forward for some reason. Perfect. Timing seems odd. What timing? And thanks everyone for over 70 likes. I missed the 69, but it was there. <laughs> We're moving all the beer we made. Fill up the...
fill up the palette, sorry. No, that one's not full either. I think it's going on the other palette. No, it doesn't matter. They both need to be filled anyway. Um, let's check. Okay, that's four more. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And one partially. Can I get through here? No, I'll have to walk around. and they picked up from that palette. All right, the rest will have another palette for them. Okay. I didn't need to turn it off. R, there you go. The water's still going, that's why I ordered it now. And just take its time and fill up. Okay, I'm just gonna fill the truck with the crane because if I mess up with the forklift, uh, we'd have to clean it all up again. Uh, no, no, you should be able to fill up your pallet that way. I just, all the boxes were behind other pallets, so... Oh, I forgot to lift my forks. I'm sorry. First time today I did it by accident. <laughs> First time it happened, it was on purpose. I was testing the ramp. Yeah, still bouncy. Uh, oh, yeah. One of my favorite things in the game is, is when you have a big mass of uh, boxes or bags, you can just throw, and I mean really throw an empty pallet at it and it will clean itself up. It's pretty great. We can fit eight more pallets in this truck. So here's two of those eight. Oh, boop, boop it in there. We need the space. I should turn. Nothing to see here, people. No vlog. <laughs> Almost did it again. Oops, I did it again. Flew all over the place. Into the beer. Extreme forklift in pirouette unlocked. Achievement, bouncy horse. <laughs> Uh, release, then, the, then lower. There you go. Trying to avoid the other pallets. Look, I finally have a coffee machine here. Now we need one downstairs too. I'm trying to be careful with my money because I'll have to order quite a bit of grain. Well, actually, he lowered the amount we needed for the recipe, right? Yeah. 
We'll see in a bit. I, I need to empty the tank first. Actually, no I don't. I could build another tank and start them off on... Uh, on mere beer making. I have two people available to do it for me. Let me do it for you, Kermy. That was my best uh, Miss Piggy impression. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Mortal Kombat announcer voice. OSHA violation! <laughs> Or uh, <clears throat> Unreal Tournament 4, triple kill, multi kill. Ah, land, what fun. <laughs> I sucked at those games. Well, that's not good. Godlike. Yes, exactly. It's been a couple of years, I don't really remember how it all went. A bunch of years, not a couple. <coughs> oh, there was my voice. I really need another drink. I'm all out. Give me uh give me a move. Hold on, it's cold, I need my slippers. Give me 30 seconds, I'll be right back. John, thank you very much for subscribing. Just my chair real quick. That took a little bit longer. Just the stupid new bottle caps of cola. They suck. <laughs> there. Just my chair. Okay, let's go. Yeah, they have new new type of bottle caps that uh, I forgot again. 
There you go. At least it's easily solved. Oh, botheration. I'm busy, Francis. Oh, I'm out of coffee, too. Of course, I didn't pause the game. I thought I'd be uh, back in, the, in a very short while. So yeah, the caps are attached to the bottle and it's meant to lessen plastic waste. As if you would suddenly turn in the bottle without the cap. I don't know if people do that. I don't. Um, but I couldn't get it on straight. So I put the bottle back in the fridge and it leaked all over the place. So I had to take it out, clean up the mess and uh, rip off the cap and then you know, screw it on straight. <laughs> Which was annoying. I mean, I get it with half, half a liter bottles, the small ones. Because people will, you know, carry that on, on the street with a big bottle. You only have that at home, what's the use? Get, get out of my <clears throat> bottles, look at the mess you're making. Why is there a pack of there's a pack of beer in the wall. I guess I might have loose. I'll try and get it back with the forklift. <laughs> there must be some more beer through that wall. Uh, yeah. It's annoying. Wow, he just threw my little bobby at me. How dare you. But they fixed uh, Francis getting stuck, didn't they? I just realized that. I forgot about him. He got stuck in the floor and he must have despawned because I did see there was a fix for that. Ha! Got you in the head. <laughs> Damn it! That was my last bag. It's in the pillar. Fuck you, Francis. You know, that reminds me. I lost another bag in here somewhere. I don't know where it went. <laughs> That was my last bag of grain. I mean, I have enough beer to throw, but where did the other bag go anyway? I guess we'll never know. Okay, let's get rid of Francis first. <laughs> Blue beer to the head. <laughs> Teleporting piece of shit. <laughs> Get out of the floor, because otherwise you stick around and pee all, pee all over the place. There you go. Oh. <laughs> You're stealing my beer! Dodgy bastard. It's easier to see. Oh, I ran right into okay. the money. Okay, I got it. I'm leaving. It's easier to see when you're using a bag, to be honest. I'll have to see if I can get uh, get that bag back. Or what? It was it was here, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that actually is that still the case that you can't pick up empty pallets? Yeah. No problem. can't attach it. That's weird. Huh. Trying to get that bag back. <laughs> this is 99 cases of beer in the wall. 99 cases of beer. 
Francis came, he stole them all. Zero cases of beer in the wall. Okay, there we go. I was able to attach it immediately with uh, the with beer on it. But the beer needs to get off. Because we can't mix items on pallets. Um, idea. Save game before we start messing around with this. I am really curious where the other bag is, though. I didn't see it anywhere, but it must be somewhere in here. I can't go through the machines. To the wall, maybe? No. I don't know where it flew off to, though. Didn't see it with Alt either. Nope. Uh, the rest of the place is a bit full to try this. Oh, hold on. Turn more. Okay, I got my bag back. Let me just put it in the standard place so we can't lose it again. I don't know where the other two went. Um. I'll try to get the ones in the wall once I've removed those pallets there. The beer, beer boxes, I mean. Beer cases. Looped a little harder than I meant to, but... Oh, oh no! We're fine! We're fine! But this building is a little dangerous. <laughs> and those white pillars you see against the blue, uh, they grab you. Luckily I was bumped out. Very nice. Uh, when you played shooters, was usually the support guy keeping others alive. Yeah, I have almost zero experience with shooters. I mean, I played Unreal Tournament on LAN parties, but to say that I was really playing a shooter, I tried. <laughs> like, I did my best. Uh, I, I like games like uh, Left 4 Dead. Um, Back for blood, but that's really against NPCs, not uh, <laughs> not other players. Yeah, I had a bunch of lamp parties. It was fun because if we did it here, <coughs> we had so many. Um, we have so many computer parts that, you know, if you're playing something like Unreal, Unreal Tournament, even back then, it was an old game. You didn't need much for that. We had so many computer cases, computer parts and screens and everything lying around that people only had to bring like a keyboard and a mouse to be able to come play here. And then we just sit all over the house. We had a very, we have a very big dining table, so very handy. Okay, let's get all the beer. Then we'll have to see how much beer is left in the tank. Actually, I'm curious. With me, 106. Okay, that's still quite a few more pallets to go. So, <clears throat> while you can't pick up stuff with an empty pallet, the downside is you can't really attach an empty well, you can't attach an empty pallet to your pocket. So you have to put one item on, and then if it's something different than what you want to pick up, you have to actually take it off again. Um, yeah, that's eight. Well, before we start loading up, let me get the rest of the beer. 
Yeah, we have nothing in storage anymore. Okay, that's good. I want to have the, the beer factory running while we load up the truck. <clears throat> you know, multitasking. Though I say that, but we, we need pallets. <laughs> we need a lot of pallets. order some. Been selling a lot of beer so you sell the pallets right along with it. Boop, boop. Yeah just put it there. Doesn't really matter which one we put in. It's all the same beer. And we're gonna have to get another truck to sell the rest anyway. There, I think two more could fit. Oh, oh no. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Get out of there. There you go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Got stuck for a moment. I booped into something. Okay, I don't think there's more beer there. I caught everything uh, there was to catch. Oh, I did it again. Sorry. I was just looking around if I see if I missed any uh, missed any beer packets. No, it looks good. I checked in the wall as requested. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. We finally have uh, some real beer production going. I just needed some uh, some upgrades to the water container. Because you know grain is easy to buy, but if you if you don't have a big enough water container, you don't have enough to make a big amount of beer. Whoopsie! Turn too early. Okay, um, yeah, we need to load those up. We need more pallets before we can turn the beer bottlers on. So let's delivery, let's order that. 10 is one truck, at least it should be. I have to click here, of course. Yeah, because the delivery fee goes up. Actually, it goes up per pallet, but two is a truck. What is that? How is 1.3? Yeah, but that's going to take 40 minutes. It's fine. Let's just sell. Uh, in a minute. After I put all the... I almost made the same mistake again as before. I'm like, oh yeah, let, let's just sell, and then forgetting that I have a whole load of uh, beer pallets needing to go into the truck. Oh, I did not need to do that. But it works. <laughs> there you go. Oh, no. I can't, I can't get it closer to the other... Oh, there you go. Let's do the... Uh, 
the ones that are more to the right first. Wrong button. Click it. Like before, I had a lot to do. Uh, and I could just wait to sell the beer, but I'm gonna make more beer, so... I don't... Yeah, I could wait the 40 minutes for a better... What do you guys think? Should we wait for a better multiplier or should we just sell? I'm curious what you guys want. No, up. Up. It's the wall. Get this one. Sell. Pick up 1.8, it's a lot more money. <laughs> that's why I'm debating. That's a, that's good. Okay, hold hold on. That's not good. There we go. Thank Dofe, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. Oh, one more thing. Let me move this one. There. There for the next truck. Truck is full. Yes, truck is very full. Shannon says, wait. Um, the pallet you loaded... Okay, hold on. I'll check. You're right. Let me check the rest. Oh, yeah, but that's because I'm... I was out of beer. But we're making more beer, so I can get... Uh, I can fill that up. It would be silly not to fill it up and then maybe have two bottles of two cases left over later. Something like that's probably going to happen. First things first. Coffee. I forgot the coffee. Fine, I'll get it in the office. I need uh, the pallets before I can start the... Well, I don't need it. I prefer to have the pallets before I start the bottling machine. Because that means that most of it will automatically go on the pallet. So while we do that, when we're done, we'll see how long it takes for the next multiplier to arrive. And then we'll decide. Okay. Run with pallets. Let's go. I really wish I could uh, order these with the... <clears throat> from the big warehouse, from the docks, from the global market. Because that's a bit closer than uh, than the front. Well, I'm not I'm personally not having any more coffee tonight because uh, I I still need sleep later. <laughs> but yeah, the character really uh, you need it to run. How are you doing? I have been selling truckloads filled with beer. Making a lot of money. And this should be the last run of this batch of beer. Mm. I'm just debating whether I should start the next batch of beer in a new tank already. thing is I will still have to move all the grains uh, so that they can put it in the tank so it would take a bit before I can start the new batch mm. yeah that's better 
doesn't have to be straight as long as it's neat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping we can, uh, now that I have some money coming in, we can do some real expanding. The thing is, it's not going to be because, you know, the, the tank is not the issue, right? The tank is like 500 bucks. It's That's not the point. Uh, the thing is that I'm going to need more workers. That need to be trained. The training is expensive, not the workers, the training. And uh, all the materials to make the beer. So I already ordered water. We could also start with two smaller batches, two different types of beer and just see how it goes as a test run. I'll have to set up uh, And we can also focus on all the conveyor belts tomorrow. Just focus on making money today so we can uh, get it all started. We'll see how far we get in the time we, uh, we have. This is a bit messy. Can you turn or are you going to explode? Eh, better than nothing, I guess. Alright, let's see if we can get the last beer out of here. 105 liters to go. There. We still have bottles. Might have to buy more. Right, I needed two boxes. Um, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, we could set some up to mill grain. But again, you have the same problem that I need to move all the grain. So it's going to take a lot of time. It would save money both with the grain and training them. So that might be a good idea. I would only have to train them once. There, now the truck is full. Hmm. I'd have to buy a shitload of grain, though. Not a bad idea. Just to get them trained up. Let me see here. Yeah, we're gonna be on 1.3 for another half an hour. Let's, uh, just to make this easy on us, let's just sell. How much are we gonna get? We're at 11,000. 5,200 about. Not, not bad, not bad. We had more earlier. Uh, if that's 1.3, I'm, I'm curious. Give me, give me you. Calculator. How much did I save? 5,000 so, uh, and 100, something like that? No, 200. 5,200. Divided by 1.3. So the base price would have been 4,000. So if we'd had like 1.8, I'd have earned 7,000. So I would have earned $2,000 more. So waiting on a good. It's also a good test. It's okay. I could reload and wait. But no, it's going to take half an hour. It's fine. Uh, the problem is that I can only order one truck. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to check the pricing on the grain. Hold on. I wish I could order more selling trucks. Oh, but this one is such a good price too. Okay, let me see. Oh. Hold on. I think the shift didn't work. How much would this cost? Look, we, we have quite a bit of money. They're both very good deals. 
Uh, that's too many. There. That's two trucks full. One raw and one crushed. 7,000. Let's do it. Welcome back, cowgirl. I hope you had a nice nap. I had already picked up the pallet. It's fine. I'm on the back. Okay, that works, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Why does the delivery truck get stuck and no longer start when unloading? Um, you mean, if you mean that he doesn't drive away after you unload it? I think we're gonna have to restart the game. I'm, uh, I'm getting some lag here now. Did you see that stutter? Hello, task manager. How are we doing today? Absolutely fine. I don't know what happened there. Memory's good too. Well, it doesn't always have to be visible on the task manager. I don't know what that what that stutter was. Hmm. Oh. I know what the stutter was. It was the arrival of the two big trucks filled with brain. Jesus, Nima. <laughs> See, what could have happened? I don't know. You ordered like 32 pallets of shit. What could have happened? I don't know. Um, <laughs> let's go. This is raw. Am I reading it right? I think I am. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes it's like, geez, what happened? And then you realize, oh, of course. It was a warning to save, but we just had an auto save, but I can. Hold on. You're not wrong. I wish there were multiple saves though. That's always a good thing in any game. We could also do a game restart in a bit. We've been doing a lot. A lot of loose items flying around everywhere. That's never a good thing. Well, not anymore. I've kept it as clean as possible, but uh, it still happens. Honest, this is one of the most stable indie games that I've played. Oftentimes you had, um, you know, everything was working fine until you look one specific way. And then you had like a load increase or, you know, things like that. We're just, we're going to be a bit weird, but we're going to make it easier to get everything uh, out of there. No, second giveaway hasn't started yet. You haven't missed it. <laughs> Gordon's always screaming. It's a thing. But I saved. I saved. No worries. And we got over 80 likes. Thanks, everyone. Oh. No, I didn't need to do that. I'm going to press R to go up. Uh, 
yeah, that's a little over. No, that's that's exactly half. Perfect. Mommy, they're screaming at me. Okay, so what I need. Um, yeah. We don't need a cleaner. I'm gonna put him on one end. You know, what level are you now anyway? But still level 5. Cleaning really doesn't do anything for their leveling. Well, maybe... Actually, the smartest thing to do would be to put someone... Hire someone at the start of the game and put them on cleaning and... Just don't clean anything in the entire building. Well, for the level, you need to think mop up one item and throw away a garbage bag. But other than that, leave it to your worker. And then you can... Uh... There you go. And then you can... Um, maybe you could get a level. I don't know. It might be possible. Get him that one level he needs to put him on the crusher. Uh, this spot, though, requires more than one level. I'm not entirely sure. I can check, though. Let me ch let me see. Do I have more? No, no patches tonight. Uh, send me a picture. Let's see. So the, the first level is cleaning, pressure input. Then level three is movement upgrade, and then level four is output. That's already quite a few upgrades you'd need to buy. Okay, so this will also help him. Wait, but I had him on the brewery before. Oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, because he's level five. The brewer is level five. Bottler is level seven. Docs is level nine. I can uh, I can share that. I'll ask if I am allowed to share that picture with you guys in the Discord. All right, Gibbles, enjoy your dinner. Let's hire someone to put in the input so we can start training, and then as soon as possible we'll switch that one on the output and um, put a new one because we need. If we need another tank, we're gonna need... Oh, we're gonna need more than that, aren't we? But you don't need two on the tank, you need one. And one per bottler. Honestly, the tank is so fast to do yourself, you don't really need them. Uh... Alright, let's hire Noah, Noah Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna... That was another stutter. It's not by PC, though. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, we need to... Uh... See, the first upgrade is just 100. Uh, but the second one is already 400. So let's put him... ...on the input. And bring him some grain to ground. Yeah, I'm gonna restart the game. It's uh, It just feels a bit stuttery. I'm just gonna quit completely for just a moment. Let that... Uh... Uh, not yet, Jarhead. That's gonna be a future upgrade. So what's gonna change... Loud noise, loud noise. So what's going to change in the future is that uh, the AI is going to be improved. So the workers are going to get their own model. They all look the same right now. Then <clears throat> they're going to get voices, but they're also going to get things like... Uh, they like to smoke, or they like to lie outside, or they have they, they go off to drink coffee, things like that. And as they go up in level, eventually they'll lose their laziness as well. 
But they'll have to be max level to do that. <laughs> That's level 10. And level 9 is uh, then the crane. Which they should be able to work. So they can put stuff... Um, use the crane to take stuff from the trucks to storage. You don't want you don't want to miss it uh and in a little bit i still feel like yeah uh, i might just be tired I've... did i turn on the lights i think so yeah i feel like the game is visually dragging is it just me it might just be me I open this door? No. Alright, Gordon. Good night. I don't like the sound of that. I hear tingling inside. Oh no. Uh, this is a mess. No wonder it was uh, unstable for a bit. Okay, so... This is not supposed to happen, obviously. Okay, so, but there's still bottles on here. I forgot to add... Uh, logo again there the noise stopped <laughs> okay so with the reload the machine just made the rest of the beer i think but it's not running indefinitely so that's not the bug that was weird the beer is excited to see you well i prefer it not to be in this case okay well yeah that's fine right uh, logo and get the grain. Got two people there. Check. Logo first. There you go. All set. I don't know if this beer is now gonna have the logo, but it'll be okay. Yeah, so when the machines are on and you restart, it just makes all the beer. But what happened in the previous playthrough is that <clears throat> it didn't recognize we were out of beer. So it just kept filling non-existent bottles with non-existent beer. So we had a lot of beer. However, we did earn a lot less with that beer. So it wasn't that big of a deal, honestly. Oh, I booked that a little wrong, but we're fine. Right. Turn that first. There we go. All right. Since training is so expensive, we're going to train our workers up using the grain machine. So I gave him one level. Machine is on. Looks like it's on. Yes, there it goes. Okay. 
so I'll keep an eye on him as soon as he hits level 3, was it? Yeah, because now he's level 2, so when he hits level 3, he should be able to get go onto output. Am I saying that right? Output? No, I'm sorry, level 4. Level 4 is output. The <laughs> factory gets an A for effort, yeah. <laughs> Nine calories, what? <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, it's a bit more effort to grind our own grain, but... No. But I agree, it's a very good way to train our workers. And we're not really in any rush. We still got a bunch of beer to sell. I would prefer to empty that truck there though before we get another truck in because that way the truck is in bay zero instead of bay three or two to when we starting with zero. Can I Oh, I, sorry, I got booped out at the wrong side. There we go. Oh man, that doesn't fit. Ooh, okay, hold up. over here. A little bit forward. Yeah, that works. I'll move that one once it's empty. That'll take... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, maybe if I boop the camera in a little, it'll be better. I think we're just going through the ceiling a lot. It does cost less to mill your own grain. But keep in mind that the time you save by just buying milk grain, you can make a lot of money in that time. So in the end, I don't think it really ups your profit in any way. But yeah, to train some workers to work on the second broom tank. Actually, we, we really only need like one pair of people to work the, the brewing tanks. Because we can switch them off from tank to tank, depending on where we're actually brewing. And I, th I think two would be enough. We could also just put them all on bottling and do the brewing ourselves. Because they're quite slow. But it's nice that they'll be able to do that while you're doing something else. Okay, buddy, come on, hurry up. Okay, this is still going well. I'm just thinking, because really, you would put more storage here, right? But it's also the only spot we can really do some building of other stuff, too. Come on. Last one. There we Okay, hold up. Maybe I can't put it where it was before. Huh. Okay, so I can't put it any closer. Put it here. 
Yeah, no. Oh well, two it is then. It's fine. I might actually have to pull that one back a little if he gets stuck. The other one. Catch. Of course, now we get trash again, too. Uh, I don't have anyone I'm cleaning right now. Who do we have available? We have, uh, well, we have our butlers. They're not doing anything right now. Oh, no, you know what? Better idea. Um, keep him, keep him on here. It's fine. Are are you max level now? Yes. I just realized if I just hire another person and put him on cleaning, he'll at least already have a little bit of experience from that. Aiden Taylor, you're hired. Okay, since he literally can't do anything else than cleaning, I'm going to give him one level of training. And he should go clean automatically, I think. It says he's cleaning. He's not, though. Might be because he could just got hired. I'm curious. So what if I put you on cleaning? He immediately goes that way, but does he go for the back? No, he goes to reset first. Okay, keep an eye on the other guy. He goes to reset. Uh, now, I've, I've seen someone clean something earlier. So it's not like it's not working. They're both the same level. It doesn't really matter which one I put where. Just switching them to try it out. I want to test this. If, if I get less experience because of it for the inspection, that's okay. I want to know if maybe the next pay round will fix this. I feel like the game has suddenly become less stable. I haven't had this before. A little lag here and there, a bit of jerkiness. Weird. Wait, we can fit two on there if I'm careful, never mind. 
Oh, of course, my, my ladder is gone again. Yeah, you, the dock is not implemented yet. That's coming later with uh, the worker up update. But we don't know when yet. Hold on. Up, release, then down. There you go. Okay, let's try get him up. Oh, there you go. Didn't go left for a second. Oh, maybe it was my forklift that was holding me back. Maybe I had it just a bit too low. This works. There, now I didn't need the turbo. Ah! Of course. Yeah, so the clean... Yeah, she's already seen that. I was leaving it out for the cleaner, but that doesn't work. It's not cleaning. Earlier my cleaner was cleaning, though. Wait, this is Noah. He's level 6. How the hell are you level 6? We just hired him. Huh. Well, I had my forks up. I didn't have it on the ground, so I figured it'd be okay. But apparently... Uh it wasn't high enough. Now we know. For sure. I'm not driving. Yeah, so... Damn. Uh, when you get the pop-up for... Um, the cleaning lady, the, the inspection... She... Uh, if you're driving, it'll just keep going forever and ever. <laughs> okay, well, let's put it quite high then. There you go. gonna need more hops too but I don't know yet uh, they lowered the amount we need to brew beer and I don't know yet wait what did I hit this it's not my forks they're not in the ground Guess the side somewhere there we go yeah that wasn't all too smooth Well, is it, if he's already level 6... No, you're level 2. It's... Uh, hold on. And you? Level 7? Well, if he's now already level 6... He can go downstairs to the broom station already. Uh, no, this way. Sorry. I was like, I knew there was a stairway, but... are all attached. Right, I need to fix this stair. I 
and then probably this one again yeah so if i place no no it's still here it's still here uh we need to move this baby to the side and then we should be able to build another tank let's do that right away we don't really need two staircases mm. i would prefer to have one on the right because that's where we're going to put all the grain let me see if this fits oh wait i put it uh I didn't put it against the wall there. I'm worried that there's a little overlap, but honestly, I couldn't have fit it any better. <laughs> okay, first things first management mode new link uh, do we want those connected oh, why not that way we can just put everything everywhere and they will still get it even if I'm gone for a bit this is gonna be messy A pallet? Hmm. No. Okay, that'll do for now. All of them have two connections, yes. So this one should now be empty, right? It still says flu pilsner, even though we made IPA in there earlier. I guess it's just the, the first recipe you see. Put it on the thumb there. How are we doing on lost baggies? Uh, yeah, but that's. Those are just outside. That's okay. Not much we can do about those. The, the ramp sides now like grab onto me and hold on. I really have to be careful not to hit them. It's hard. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Pallet is now in the way. I booped the, the hops. There you go. We need the space. Come on, get in there. 
There you go. Yeah, we really can only uh, do so much at the same time. Like, I would love to have uh, the grainers crushing and the brewers brewing and the bottlers bottling at the same time. But uh, I still need to supply them all with goods. And that's the main issue. If we could put some workers on that... Or, I don't know, put an AI in the forklift truck or something. Oh wait, I'm way too high. this uh, no that was an issue but it's a it's a known bug and I honestly I think that if I'd restarted the game the the cleaner could have would have started working yeah you're still level two so you still need to be there. Oh, no, I wanted that bag. Uh, put it to the side there for a moment. I'd rather he put it in because he gets experience for it. I don't get anything for it. Okay, perfect. Everything's clean again. That's also a thing. I'm just ten times faster than they are with things like cleaning and filling the tank. There, all set. Arnold Schwarzenegger made a beer. It'd be confusing because he named it I'll be Buck. I'll be Buck, yeah. <laughs> One of the funniest things I've ever seen on TV is um, you have to realize that in a lot of countries they dub over. American movies and American series and then show it on TV. Uh, not in the Netherlands, though. Well, cartoons, children's things will often be dubbed, though I obviously think that's not a good idea because it wasn't in my youth and that's why my English is so good. But in any way, in Germany, they dub over everything. Everything is in German, including Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, um, ich komme wieder zurück. Now, I was rolling on the ground. <laughs> it means I'll be back, but it's literally in German. <laughs> ich is I, and then kom, I'll, I'll, I'll be uh, coming, basically. I'm coming back. Wieder is again. And Truk is back. Yeah. Or you suddenly have Star Trek in German. Things like that. All right, we have an empty pallet here. Bring that up. Now I have all this to sell too. Come on, fall down. There you go. Getting rid of all these loose boxes should also stabilize everything a bit more I wonder if I have a lot of loose beer just pushed through this wall 
door to the door. I don't know. There's no way for me to tell. Yeah, we'll go sell this soon too. But I need uh, to clear a dock first. Well, I don't specifically remember Colby, um, I doubt it. This changing something like that, yeah, that, that would be censoring, basically, and that's not something that's often done here. I mean, if you have like an adult movie, it's, it's not going to be on TV before a certain time. And I'm not talking adult at all, I'm talking like a movie meant for people older than 12. Nima and beer, what could be better? Uh, Nima, beer and... Um, chips. I'm a big fan of uh, salt and black pepper chips. But only from the Lidl. <laughs> I like those best. It's a thing. Okay, I bought way too much grain. We need to like get to unloading this stuff. <laughs> uh, actually, hold on, idea. What I can do, there you go, straighten it out. I think if I just put it here, as long as it's basically touching the yellow block, you should be able to get it. That way I can put down some, a couple more. Well, keep in mind, we don't have the American Budweiser here, right? Um, we probably, if you can find it here, we'll probably have the one from Czech. The original Budweiser? Isn't that... Isn't that... I think... I think that was Czech? It, it's not really a... Well, well, it's a known brand because... You know, it's in the news. <laughs> but... Uh, you know what I mean. There's a little... Little bump in the ground there. you put pallet slots in the shipping belt and connect it to the grain mill? You could, but then your worker... Um, you have to keep in mind, the only thing the one at the output does is basically turn on the machine. He, he holds down the handle to grind the meal. The, uh, sorry. Grind the flour, grind the, uh, the malt. Uh, so if you, if you do that, the only way to do that would be to connect the input and your worker would have to walk through the dock the whole day which is going to take a long time i mean can we try it sure i don't know yeah, i don't know if it would work i mean i mean sure we can try it hold on let me move this one first uh see the only downs can we even put one down here you could. <clears throat> well, I can always put it uh, downstairs uh, if I if I don't need it here. There you go. Oh wait, hold on. If I put it somewhere I can reach with the crane, that would be easier. Okay, so let's say for a moment I put it uh, right right there. In front of my coffee. Luckily things are easy to move. There we go. I can run. I can see. 
But uh, I can see, I can fight, and then turns into a gigantic being. But uh, Dexter, I think. Dexter's laboratory. Ah, ah, there you are. I was missing you. We're gonna test this. I'm curious. Okay, it's on there. <laughs> All those bottling plants, they're still connected to this bottling machine. I'll have to fix that. Okay, of course this is not the fastest solution, but uh, I'm very curious if this will work. What we could do... Oh, i still matching the mode. There we go. Is obviously, like, connect three people to that and, and have them walk. Okay, this is uh, getting a bit messy here. Can't reach the trash. just start the beer in the meantime I don't know if I have enough hops though I am curious however I forgot to check that how much we would need yeah so I think we should discard the pilsner because we don't have any left of that we do still have the IPA right now nah, we'll leave it be for now uh, create a new recipe um, what kind of beers do we have um, let me see a floof bock beer. There you go. I have no idea what the recipe for that would be, but uh There. And then tanks. Well we can just use tank one since it's empty. Can we change it there? Oh it's I don't I'm assuming this is tank one. All right, guys, we need names for the tanks. Hit me. No, I've never had that, boys. It would save me time forklifting because I can just use the crane. Street racing with a forklift, of course. Oh, Floof Weissen. Yeah, that would have been a good one too. Stout, I have that on the list as well. Let me see. We have a, a floof in the Freya, and then uh, later on we'll uh, we'll figure something out. Let's make the bock beer. How much can we make? Oh yeah, that's a lot less because I think I had to put in twenty yeast. I remember that, but it was two hundred and thirty. For just about this amount, 230 malt. Can we make a thousand? We can. We have enough. We have the technology. I'll, I'll need to order a hop? No, I don't. I might have to order a little hops, but that's not a problem. Oh no, it says no launch. Why not? I, I thought I had the water. Wait. I... What? I ordered it and opened the tank. No, it's full. But it's not recognizing it's full. Uh-oh. Mm. 
Oh, there we go. There was a little bug, but now it recognizes it full. Perfect. Okay, let's try again. Bloof bog. A thousand liters. No, that's not going to work because we don't have 4,000. But that's the, I wish I could set max. 3,400 is just too much. There. That's the max amount we can make. 840 liters. I'll take it. Okay, it's filling with water. Uh, I need to make sure that Floof is in the tank 1 and not tank 2. Because I only have workers on 1. It sounds like this... Yeah, that's the right one. Um, well, you guys have brain. Have fun. I'll, I'll come back later to check on you. <laughs> if they have enough. Well, we have more here too. Let me see. Oh, well, he's gone. He's, he's going. Yep, it's working. <laughs> hey, for Bison. Isn't it Haven? I thought it was like he's. Yeah, let me see. Osaka helped me with the beers. So, um, what do I have? IPA, Lager, Pilsen, Weizen, Hefeweizen, Weiss. <laughs> That's written all different. Um, Stout, Bock, Gose, Keller, Porter, Trap, Trappist, Lambic, and Krieg. Ant Creek, sorry. Um, I literally went three languages there. I apologize. This is actually... I'm thinking. Because if I put a couple of peeps on there, not only would their experience all go up, But do I need the storage here? No. No, I really I really don't. I don't want to sell the storage though. But I don't need this many here. I'm not planning on storing huge amounts in here and I can't connect the worker to this storage so what i'm gonna do is let's let's yeah we're gonna move some storage downstairs see whatever is in here is going to be moved either downstairs or to the mill so i don't need a storage there it's it's kind of it's all gonna be moved anyway uh, yeah, they changed it so we can now put storage down here, by the way, which is pretty cool. And if I change my mind, I can just move it back again, which is pretty awesome. Um, I really wish we could use that area. I don't know why it would have to be clear. It's probably, it probably has to do with a future update. Um, if I move this desk, no, the coffee machine doesn't move along. Yeah, no, we're, we're not allowed to do anything with that area. How far back can I put it? Right there. Move this out of the way. There you go. Because basically the grain loading is going to be a training area. So let them walk. I'll have to see if I can put more people on there though. I'm putting more than two people on a brewing tank. Honestly, they just run into each other, reset, go again, run into each other, reset. And resetting means that they, no matter what they're doing, they walk back to that screen. Do like a little reset and then continue their job. Yeah, two is fine. That's just, it's running itself. Let it go. It's not going very fast, but it works. Not in any rush. Uh, besides, with uh, 
the amount needed, about half, we're fine. Now I'm thinking I could actually make... <laughs> Do we want to go this the absolutely laziest route ever? I could connect those air. I could put those areas upstairs and connect them to the broom fat. Or put more areas here. Then if I don't have time to bring it downstairs. We could do that, but... Ah, the brewing already takes a bit, so I don't really want to. Put away from the wall a little bit so we can reach it with the crane better. I'll test it out, see if that works. Um, actually, yes. Ah, damn it. I'm, I'm busy, Francis. I can't put that that one closer. Oh well, that's fine. Oh no, I couldn't do that here either. I'm trying to make it even. It's not really working out for me here. Yeah. More? I'm coming, Francis. Oh, God. I'm coming. Before I forget. Mop that up, shall we? Uh, where's the rest? I didn't hear a ping yet. There we go. <laughs> that took a long time. Dirty old man. Come here. Come back here. Damn. Oh, it's downstairs. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty stuck. Voiced him. <laughs> no, no raffle yet. Hold on. <laughs> Get right up. I die now. Die later. There we go. Okay. Give me monies. Okay, yeah. I got it. I'm leaving. Eight and nine bucks. All right, to the grain. There you go. Could pick it. Wait, can I not go closer? Yes, I can. I just needed to. There you go. I need to connect them still with the. Oh, I have one. <laughs> I thought I thought I had to go up first, but I have one. It's like a little step there. I need to take. Okay, we're taking the laser route today. We're c I can still take stuff inside, but I, this way I don't have to. Just want this car empty too, so we can uh, order another truck to sell our beer. Uh, no. But it's a fun switch up. Just a little distraction. I can understand that we would 
you know, annoy you. It's a little bit of action in the stream, basically. I just wish the music was a little bit softer. Because compared to this music, it's very loud. Uh, I do think you can turn it off, though. And the options. Uh. Oh, yeah, here, difficulty. Sorry, I'm just... I'm looking with my nose. Uh, easy mode should be uh, Francis less. I think that's the truck. Yes, he's leaving. Okay. Can you fit in between here? No, I think we're... <laughs> the answer is no. Just well, I think if I put it there, it would still count. Now I'm wondering if I put if I put more here, will the brewers come get it? Because that would save me so much driving, wouldn't it? I'll have to remove that first, though, before I can place some pickup spots there. But let's connect those with the grinder. But we do need to move the grain. Um, there's no moving the grain away from uh, the grinder. The ground grain, I mean. We'll, need, we'll still need to do that manually. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we need to clean up there because he's just uh, going, going, going. Oh, I can't pick anything up in management mode. I know. It doesn't fit in between there. Can I push you aside? There we go. No, don't push back. Go! Go! And roll. That works. Oops. Harder. Harder, Bobby. Yeah, good enough for now. I'll come pick up the rest of the bit. <laughs> uh, what time is it? Oh, I'm already almost on five hours again aren't i yeah i think it is a good time let's complete this one i forgot to do that earlier no consequences though so hello loading there we go start yes you can only do one at a time there we go I think it is a good time to start another giveaway for Beer Factory. There is also... Why am I... I keep walking back and forth. I can just connect here too. There's also a giveaway going on... Um, in the Discord for Beer Factory. And the dev was uh, kind enough to give me enough keys to all also do a giveaway on my Discord. Uh, but I'll do that over the weekend so it doesn't clash with the one on their Discord. And we can just uh, switch off, basically. <laughs> yeah, we need to move this grain. I I'm moving this one anyway, so I'll just put that next to the grinder. This was a good idea. Who whose idea was this? Good night, John. Oh yeah, you're welcome to try everywhere to win. Absolutely. It, there's a weird bump here, to be honest. <laughs> I can, did you see that? The, the screen get... <laughs> Let okay, so there's no way for me to connect well, actually, that's not true. I could connect that area with the brewery. 
you want to do that? No, because I want... Oh, I'm thinking we could. It would be silly, but if we could. I need to pay wages too. Every time, every damn time I hit that corner there. Come on. There. Yes. There you go. No, don't don't do the other way. And the problem is I can't go backwards, so I can't really adjust. There we go. There, that's better. How do you buy the brew thing? Give me one moment. Okay, they're still working. Um, you take the toolbox, you press tab, and then you have the brew tank right here. But I, I know that it can be a little bit confusing here and there. Uh, what you do through the computer and what you do through the building. Because <laughs> it basically switches off. Like you build... You I guess the grain crusher you unlock through the computer, right? But the rest of the machinery you build through the toolbox. Did you start a new game? Well, if you have a safe game from the, uh, the playtest, I would recommend it, considering there are quite a few bug fixes. It should work, but yeah, you're probably better off starting a fresh game. I don't think you could have gotten very far during the playtest, right? Hey, Smiley! Was the playtest like first half hour or something of the, the game? I think it's not worth the risk. I mean, you can try, and if you then have to start over anyway, well, you'll have lost a little time. But if you're going to be streaming it or something like that, I would really recommend starting over. Also because people want to see the start of the game. And now we're getting more towards uh, how big can I make my damn brewery? And how, we can, how can we optimize our time? Because that's going to be the main issue, right? All the driving. So if I place these pickup spots... Kittens, stop it. That's the third time tonight um, that they're fighting. If I put all these pickup stop, pick spots upstairs... I mean, that's going to save me a load of time of driving. And who needs the most time in this game? Me, not the workers. So in that case, it would be a good thing. On the other hand, they be walking a lot. You got the secret sauce. <laughs> I got the secret sauce. It's your name. That's good. That's perfect. I, I read that as a sentence first. Yeah, so giveaway going on for Beer Factory right now, exclamation mark, raffle to get in there. If you do win, you have to say hello in chat or yay or whatever you please, so I know you know you won. And then send me a message on the Discord so I can give you a key. A little bit uh, too enthusiastic there. Let me see. That one is raw. That one is not. That is a bag of garbage. Clean up more garbage. Oops. 
Oh. Hold on. That didn't go as planned. I got booped. I just uh, do it like so. And. I, if I put this on here, he'll he'll put it in. Oh, why do you keep doing this? <laughs> Stop it! There you go. Wait, are you? Uh, yeah, you still have space. Fill up that one. Okay. Grab the garbage. Who do we have available as workers? Um, well, I have the bottlers. But they don't really need the levels. I think they're max level. Let me check in the list to see who's what level and who's doing what. They need the exercise because they're drinking on the job. Fair enough. Oh, you went next door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Honestly, because it's going a lot slower, it's much easier to keep up with the grain. <laughs> okay, let me see here. I would like another worker on there. No, they're filling the malt, but I might have to bring some more. Okay, who's? can I see who's doing what? Not really. I don't think I can see their job. William, oh no, he's <laughs> he's not hired yet. I could hire someone else. Let, let me do a little check on my peeps. So we got two there. Um, you guys are available, but really we're, we're gonna be bottling again soon. Yeah, they're max level. I wanna keep them on the bottlers. That is the, let me check here. Yes. That is the highest job there is right now. Later on we'll get the docks. But for now that's the highest job there is. So let's, let's leave that to them. Uh, yeah, might as well bring the grain downstairs when we go. How many people have I working for me? Yeah, six. I could just hire more. I mean... I booked again. Oh, well, don't pull me in. It's because I'm on the ramp. It's making it really hard to turn. I forgot to... Well, we're going down. I guess it's working. Come on. Yeah, see? Somewhat. I'll just push on. That's usually the best way to get through here. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I'm not having a good time with the ramp. Sorry. Are you guys... Uh... Yeah, no, they're, they're still working. They still have rain. It's all going well. Push this one a bit more to the sides. There you go. Allez, boop. Yeah, we, we, we can make a pickup spot upstairs. We'll have to, yeah, we'll need more people on, uh, stay. I'm picking up here as well. No. Just, um, Assuming for a moment we're not wanting to move the bottlers. I need, yeah, I'll need more people if we're gonna move it like this. I mean, I have more beer to sell. It's not like I can afford it. 
can't afford it, sorry. There we go. He, no he needs a job to support his seven kids, that's fair enough. Yeah, because cause he's uh oh the idiot threat. Well <laughs> that shook something loose there. By the my prongs were way too high. Mm -hmm. He barely has anything to do at this point. Because it's going so slow. Yeah, that one's still up there. They live there now. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... We'll put more people on that. I think the brew tank is okay for now. We need to train them up anyway, so. Yeah, he's already level seven. This go it's going way too fast. We we'll just hire two. Okay, Logan Miller and William Carter have joined the band. Um upgrade design. Here for a moment. Uh, no. The other guy. How do you level the workers? Um, you can upgrade them, which you need to upgrade them once to put them on the input of the <laughs> of the grain crusher. But after that, they can just work. And clearly they're leveling really fast on the Grain Crusher. The guy I just put on there is... Uh, well, before these two. Uh, it's already level 7. Like, this guy... What level are you? Level 8. Well, if the other one reaches level 10, I'll switch them around and level that one to level 10, I guess. Okay, so let's bring something. I'm trying to prevent myself from having to go downstairs a lot because as you can see, you get stuck in the wall really easily. Okay, now we go up. There you go. Well, the giveaway is going on for another five minutes, so... You don't have to wait long. No worries. Well, I'm someone who... Uh, I enjoy these games, not just... I don't mean to break them, but I like to figure out how to... How everything works, what we can do. And I'm not focusing on min-maxing, but I am focusing on making my own life easier. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, we need to order more water too. Mm. I'm thinking. Because really, putting the pickup point upstairs by the docks would mean that it would save us a lot of time if we put the... If we put those tanks not in that corner, but over here. On the other hand, we really don't want to block this passageway. We are going to have to go up and down sometimes. And they're more expensive the higher level they are. So while leveling them is nice, it is going to cost us a bit more money. However, with the time saved... I should be able to make a lot more beer. Especially if we can get some conveyor belts going. Okay, this, this little boop. Yeah, there you go. Uh, 
the last chance to get in the giveaway remember that you need to be subscribed we only have 13 people in the giveaway uh, maybe a lot of you already have the game uh, I should really just keep a pallet there uh, for the any missed bags Yeah, it's not, not going quite as fast as I would like it to. Are you guys stuck? Or are you coming? Let me check up on them, because I don't see anyone. Ah! Okay, so they get stuck if you do multiple people, but this is just also some bad luck there. Don't don't step aside that way, Jesus. Okay, they should start moving again. Right? I didn't turn you off. get a coffee uh, well yeah that's what I've been doing basically uh, trying everything out and then uh, <clears throat> telling the developer about it but obviously uh, it's just one person and there's 24 hours in a day But, uh, I haven't seen an update today, though, so it could be that he's working on a specific one. Well, no, not, I mean, there were several today earlier. Actually, it, it's 2 a.m. for him. Le never mind. It's just very late for him. He's hopefully sleeping. Jeez, what am I saying? Yeah, we need to sell all that. Before we can uh, start bottling the other one. Okay, there it goes again. Very good. Um, well, that's... Uh, so they can get stuck there. Which is a bit of a problem. But I'll keep an eye on it. It's still saving me loads of time. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all these pallets. Uh, where am I? Okay, there I am. I'm going to move them to the side. And we're going to... Got to go up here. Yeah. I'll just drop them here for a moment. I'm going to make another collection spot there for, um, for the brewery. And But if I have time, I can always bring stuff downstairs. But if I don't, they just I can move it with a crane and they can just come get it upstairs. Right? Right. Uh, Bill, did you get in? Hey, Michael. Uh, well, let's go see. Uh, yeah, but first I want to place uh, spots here. So let's see who won. Who won Beer Factory? Oh, girl! <laughs> you won! <laughs> lucky, lucky! <laughs> you Well, you clearly already have the game. Are you gonna give it to someone? I don't mind that. But... 
so it's not a problem though. Hey Bender! Did they have the... <laughs> you both you finally won something, yay! Uh, I wanted to ask if they finally added the pre-recorded to the stream on Steam because I kept getting questions about it from people thinking I was actually live and I felt bad for them, I wasn't ignoring everyone, it was just pre-recorded. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could place several after and one after another. Hey, Anaman. Ah, you're giving it to him. The guy who was only here for the giveaway. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We were joking about that. Uh, oh, there we go. I couldn't place it for a moment. And probably because I'm standing in the way. Okay, that'll do. Can't make it any closer. Okay. Um, keep in mind, you don't need as many pallet spots as you have pallets. That's my tip of the day. Uh, you can easily place three or even four onto pallet slots. We might have to change this in the future. Can we sell these? No. Would have looked better if I placed them that way. Yes. Sorry, I'm picky. Can I do that? I didn't like the way they were facing. sit here for a moment. Let me move this one first. Doesn't seem like I can put this one back in the same location. Yeah, good enough. Well, that works out. He really wanted the game as well. Oh, I can't really see the edge there under the dirt. Let's place it like so then. Got an itchy nose. Oh, there you go. Ah. <laughs> I was focusing really hard and then my nose started itching. Yeah, place them all the same. Okay, I think that should do. Let's to the crane. Uh, yeah, I need to... Apparently there's a little... A little hop skip on the... And then I need to go up. Very weird. So I'm not going down, I just need to go up every time. <laughs> Again. Weird. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh there's something there. Or oh, it's booping against. There you go.
There, straighten it out. Okay, we have a whole truck completely filled with grain. Let's go. You know what I haven't tried yet? Um, stacking them and see if the workers take stuff out. That would be a good test. Now you can waste your life brewing beer. <laughs> You're very confused. What? <laughs> this is no waste of life. Oh, oh, no, oh, that's probably a bad idea. Yeah, this. Yeah, it'll work. It's just a test. That's probably a bit safer. I slowed it down so I could poop it like a centimeter instead of a meter to the right. Yeah, I know I know where your DM lives, no problem. <laughs> Can I not get closer? Yeah, there you go. Oh. Yeah. Um where are we at? Okay, so as in with the amount that needs to be removed from the truck. Well, I can also just put something to the side that won't be on the pallet spots and very easily shovel that up with the crane should the spot be empty. If I, if I put more pallet spots, the workers are just gonna walk like really far. Let me go forward a little bit. There you go. Uh. Oh, uh, Mikwi will have to DM me because I don't know his the uh, his uh, his Discord. Send me a DM. We'll sort it. Yes. Please DM me. Strange. No, you hold on. That's I'll have to change I'll have to uh yeah, I see you. Mikwe. Okay, I'll get back to that uh, after the stream. But I didn't think we had to be friends for you to DM me. Uh, maybe I changed it sometime. That's possible. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I might have changed it because I was getting a lot of spam. I'll, uh, oh, we, we can't go further back. Okay, we'll just put it to the side then. No, wait, I, I, I was going further back. Okay, no, that's, that's just the max. Probably to keep the office clear. We don't want to block that in there. Couple more. I can also put them all the way in the back of the of the hall. Well, usually I have it so that at least people I share discords with can send me a message, but I recently, you know, I got a lot of spam people saying this going high and then you check their profile and um, yeah, it's either a completely new account, so usually spam, that means spam, or you get like very suggestive, well not images I wouldn't say, but uh, they make like ASCII things and yeah, you know, a nice girl in the picture, you know how it goes. And I'll share one of one indie game a uh, server with them. <laughs> Come on, get, get in there. Oh, fine, be that way. <laughs> okay, truck gone. Okay, it's glorious. Uh. Oh. Oh. Wow. That was a little stutter. Can I reach that one? Oh, I made a, I made, made a meet a boo boo there. I can't reach it. I, wow, I'm getting a load of lag here. I'm checking my my CPU is having a little bit of a difficult time. I shouldn't have been able to move that. That's not good. Whenever I get close, everything starts stuttering. Get out of... Does it happen? Huh. Well, I can connect this one. But I can't connect that one. I'll have to... Uh, Move that one pallet there. Yeah, clearly, clearly, uh, <laughs> computer's not enjoying this. I should have had a cup of coffee before we did this, but eh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this twice, aren't I? They're waiting for hops. Oh, yeah, I'll have to get those. One moment. Was too busy with uh, setting that up. Uh, yeah, let's get the forklift. Let's do that because they can fill the tank while I'm doing something else. Your mouth is on fire. What you do? Did I miss something? Um. Okay, let's give them hops. Time to start nine. Oh, it's already been five and a half hours. We're not going for another hour. <laughs> I need to stay under six. I wasn't planning on streaming that long again, but I say that every day, so yeah. I'm having. There's too much to do in this game. I was planning on setting up a bottling area. I didn't even get to that. Well, if we're going downstairs, might as well bring... Bring this. Yeah, I... I don't think I'll buy that many... Oh, they're stuck again. Hold on. I don't think I'll buy that many pallets again. The game does not like it. 
And it's not like I'm looking at the task manager. It's not the CPU, memory, or GPU that are just having trouble. I think if we move you a little bit, this might. No, they're just really, really stuck in there. Okay, that should fix it. I'll just have to keep an eye on them. It's fine. If, yeah, we don't want them to go through the other hall too, because that's where we drive. How is that the worst part? That you drank a beer? I don't see what's bad about that. So, uh, for those of you just joining, I bought a full truckload of both crushed and uncrushed grain. And I'm using the uncrushed grain to train some workers so they can go on the second brewery tank or uh, on the, the butler or, you know, whatever we need people. That way I don't have to pay them for... Uh, right, hops. That way I don't have to pay them for training and I have more people to put on all the spots I need them yeah I'm, I'm yeah we'll just ignore it well I won't ignore it I will tell the deaf about the stuttering especially down here there's like a weird spot here I'm hitting something maybe that's what it feels like Straight in the steering wheel. There we go. There you have your hops. I'm gonna remove this one. Because it's almost empty anyway. Combine these two. I'll just have to keep the supplies a little lower. We'll just have to like order more often it's fine clearly i have too much stuff in the game oh, bother. I'm coming, Francis. Might as well take this one back upstairs, please. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on, what happened? <laughs> oh boy, I have to check what she said. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a, it's a timeout of a minute. There's a second, sorry, a second. Hold on, what's... Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I promise I have minimum uh, protection, but I can't. I don't think I can remove things from the list. Sorry, cowgirl. You said piss. I think that's uh, that's enough for them. But I don't really want to remove it because it's just, you know, minimum protection is uh, probably needed with a public chat. Where did that trash come from? What did you do? Bad, bad man. Why do I have so many five trash bags going on? Okay, let him get out of the hole so he don't get stuck again. There you go. 60 bucks, okay. not worth it. Okay, I got it. I'm leaving. <laughs> Did you just test it?
<laughs> he did. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, I don't, I, I'll have to check. I don't think I can remove words from it. <laughs> okay, little, do a little cleanup run. No, nope, that worked. Oh boy, are we now going to test the entire cursed dictionary of Streamlabs? It's going to be fun. Oh look, surprise palette. Isn't that nice? Um, I was connecting, but, oh. I wish they would just walk here. I'm going to take a picture of you guys. So I can explain to the deaf what the hell I was thinking. <laughs> okay, so the problem is that I can't reach this node here. And every time I boop into something, I boop everything to the side. But it's right there, though. It should be, at least. Okay, hold up. Give me the crane. I was trying to test uh, to see if we could... Uh... Hold on. No, it's this way. Sorry. I was trying to test to see if the workers... Uh, can take uh, from a second stack but I'll test that another time it's not <laughs> it's a bit unstable yeah, you can stay there Yeah, it's also management mode, which adds a lot to the game. I, f I feel like it's more unstable when I do that. Oh, I took the forklift back upstairs, but I forgot to add the second pallet of hop. Oh, but I think you're done. He just put the bag back. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes, it did. Oh no, I did put the second pallet there. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't forget. Okay, then Geese is going to be next, but they can't do that, I don't think. I'm a, just to test it. Okay. Okay, piss is apparently also not allowed. Gotta catch up. <laughs> yeah. And then Edgar just says it. <laughs> you like your chocolate liqueur? Uh, have you tried uh, liqueur uh, 43? I know you're supposed to say it in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. Forgive me. Hold on. Step aside. Okay, now they can go that way. And now you should all be going the same direction. Because that's the problem. <laughs> Diplomatic immunity. You're not wrong. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Liqueur 43 has a chocolate edition. It also has a, uh, what is it, creme brulee edition. And they're both absolutely glorious. But this chocolate one is like drinking a, a, like a cold hot chocolate with spicy alcohol in it. It is so good. If you like thick hot chocolate, I'll warn you, it is quite, quite chocolatey. Much more so than, say... Something like Bailey's, which is yeah, chocolate version. Then yeah. 
It's one of my favorite liqueurs. I have four versions of uh, liqueur. Liqueur. It's L Y C O R. Uh, I have um, four versions of that in my uh, in my cupboard. Uh, the the normal one, which is basically caramel with vanilla and spices. Then you have the. <laughs> wow, Streamlabs really hates you, cowgirl. There, I'll allow it. Um. Then so. Uh, is it still going? Are you waiting for the... No, it's brewing. Okay. Perfect. Uh, then I have the chocolate version, which is like a thick, cold, hot chocolate. Oh, here. Hold on. So it's, it's basically liqueur quarante tres, but it's... It's almost always written like this. Then I have the creme brulee version, which is like a cream version of the normal one, but with like a salted caramel idea. A little bit, like a little hint of salted caramel. It's very good. And then you have the coffee version, which is very bitter. And I never got it. Because all the other ones are extremely sweet. They're very sweet liqueurs. <laughs> and then you get the coffee one, the espresso one, Barista, I think it's called. And that one is super bitter. And I never got it. However, if you mix them, you get a coffee version that's sweeter. <laughs> it's good again. I'm not a big fan of Gineva. Well, the lemon Gineva is, uh, is good. That's how you pronounce it, by the way. It's Dutch. Ooh. I never seen it. Actually, I've never seen a chocolate version. Maybe that's just not allowed in the Netherlands. <laughs> like, like the old people who drink Ginevra along with their beer are going, chocolate version, burn them at the stake. <laughs> Come to Belgium. We don't really go to Belgium that often. Um, we're, we go to Germany more often. Than that to do some shopping say okay i think we have enough connections for now i can always do the rest later let me see are we done yet for the are we ready for the yeast the answer is no i'm trying to get a, a bit of a good shot of the the brewing tanks without all the that's the main issue with making screenshots for this game um, the HUD better just go backwards a little bit That'll do. Okay. Uh, I can't really see the timer because they keep standing in front of it. Now about three minutes. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe it would work better with two. Why don't we go this way? Let's go this way. Because I feel like they keep getting stuck in there. Um, better just let it auto stack in a bit. We just have a lot of stuff lying around. This all needs to be sold. See, there's a lot of em loose boxes. There, that'll help. get as many as I'd like, but it works. There, because I do think that a pallet counts as one item, where a beer 
beer box also counts as one item. But I'm trying to get it off the other pallet. There you go. Yeah, it lost the logo again because I restarted the game. It's okay. Got a box right there. Yeah. Okay, and then we have that bunch. I'm getting them on there. <laughs> Somewhat. Oh, it's <laughs> it's the same beer again, but I can get that with the forklift. I'll uh, I'll take a picture to remind myself to tell the developer. Mm, do with another palette. Yeah, so what happens is that the beer is trying to go forward, but there's a full pallet there, so everything is pushed to the side. And then it gets pushed and pushed until it can't go any further, and then, yeah, it goes into the wall. Easy thing. Thanks, Edgar. I was keeping an eye on it, too. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't... I want... I was going to say we're going to finish this beer, but um, after six hours... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. So when you go over six hours on YouTube, you can't do a lot of things anymore with the, with the stream. So let's say I get a, a copyright claim, which I won't because the music is copyright free, but I wouldn't be able to, to edit it. Uh, I don't know about clips. I think actually you can't clip it anymore after six hours, which is a way bigger deal. So I never go over six. But I'm having a good time. That's not the problem. <laughs> and we got 90 likes. You guys are absolutely amazing. Not a hundred like yesterday. Maybe we can still reach it. Can we, can we like... Maybe there are nine people, because it's now 91, who haven't left the like yet. You, who's gonna get the hundred like? You guys can do it. Come on. Uh. Okay, those are all full, perfect. So next time we're gonna. Ninety-three. Nice. Um. Yeah, these bottles are probably gonna disappear. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be pumping out IPA. The, the fat is empty. I'm using it for another beer. Okay. Next time we're going to sell all of this. We're going to test how the brewing goes with those pallets connected. This is not going too well. They keep getting stuck and then they don't move aside automatically. I wonder if he could add that, the developer, a, a step to where they go, you know, to the, s just, a boat take a step to the right, but yeah, then even in that doorway, they would still be stuck, wouldn't they? 97, 97, three to go. <laughs> three to go at the stream, you'll be rid of me, you can find go to bed. <laughs> You know, you have to give some kind of reward. Oh, oh, I'm kidding. Well, I'm not, but... Not about quitting the stream, I mean. Uh... Okay, so I have one garbage bag there. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Where are the other two? Oh, you know what I just realized? If they don't walk on the ramps, 
that might not work, the one to the brewery. How would they walk? Let's say they don't use the ramp. How would they walk? They would also go through here, pathfinding. And then downstairs, not the ramp. So they'd either go through, though they go through here, then either use the stairs there or there. I'll test it out. It doesn't matter much. I'll test it. Um, well, so far the game is very stable, so make sure to uh, check uh, the minimum requirements and compare them to your PC. But yeah, it is extremely stable. Like, ridiculously stable. I know I had some, like, a little lag, but that was just a lot of items moving at the same time. That had nothing to do with my computer or the heaviness of the game. If you just make sure you don't have too much stuff lying around, you should be fine. Huh. What the hell? Now suddenly we have... Uh, well, this one isn't running anymore, so four running at the same time. Would they add up? That's what I'm curious about. Well, if they're still there next time, we'll find out. I doubt it. Uh, yeah, if you can run the playtest. Well, keep in mind that the more workers you have and the more pallets and stuff you have lying around, the heavier it's going to be. But so far, yeah, it's running very smoothly. Ninety-eight. We got two more people. Two more. How many employees do I have now? That's a good question. Hello, Minute. Minute Ash. Uh, I should have eight. If I'm not mistaken, let me see. Uh, Derek. Oh, can I troll yet? Yeah. Derek, Ethan, Liam, Jackson, Noah is five. Aiden is six, William is seven, and then Logan is eight. But they tend to get stuck a bit. We're, we're testing to see if I can prevent myself from having to drive a lot of grain around. Though that, this is not preventable. I have, there are two garbage bags somewhere in the world. Um, hi, what level are you now? Level three. What level are you? Level three? Yeah, it's going a lot slower now, obviously, because they're walking a lot. You're level seven. Okay. Well, okay. You stop. Clean. Maybe two would be better. Maybe two wouldn't get stuck so often, though. It's a lot slower, but the thing is, the grain crushing. You know, you save some money by crushing it yourself. However, with the world market, you can also buy already crushed grain very cheaply. Last time the cleaner didn't do anything though. Oh yeah, he's off. Where is he going? Okay, now he's working. Oh, there they are. Well, good luck with that. No. <laughs> Um Hold on. I'll I'll take care of it. He's way too slow. Okay, come here. Now that I know where they are, which was the point of appointing him, because he leads you straight through it, right? He's like there's a truck in my way. Yeah. Okay, so you can go on there. The other one is already level seven. Let me check real quick. Level seven. Uh that's four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven can work as a bottler already, uh, so they surely can work. Of course, that was the moment I ran out of coffee. I think. Well, they can walk down the ramp. I don't know what the pathfinding does, though. We'll figure it out, and otherwise, well, I'll have to. 
drive the grain downstairs anyway. Yeah. You, you go do that for a while. They'll probably get stuck less if I do that. Alright, let's... Back to the streaming, streaming screen. There we go. Yeah, who parked there? No, they ca they can't uh, unload trucks or move pallets. In the future, they'll be able to unload the big trucks with the crane, but that's basically it. That's why I'm trying to automate this more by just adding more workers basically and uh, having them walk further though me driving the pallets is a lot faster <laughs> but it's saving me a lot of time and it's training them so that's good okay that'll uh, I'll have to bring that grain downstairs but I'm basically only grinding grain to train them in a couple of levels. Because it'll save me a lot of training money. Everyone, we reached 104 likes. Um, it is getting very late. Thank you all so much for watching. I had a great time again. I know it doesn't seem like we got very far. But uh, we got a lot of staff trained up. We made a lot of beer. We made a lot of money. We have... A huge amount of supplies ready for another tank of beer. So next time I'm adding yeast, so then it'll just start brewing. Um, I'm selling the beer we have stacked over there. I'll test to see if our brewers will come get it upstairs. No, not yet. I haven't sent the keys out yet. I'm finishing the stream first. <laughs> Miss impatience. <laughs> Oh, look, it moved to the side. Perfect. I can place a new... <laughs> there we go. That cleans up. Alrighty, but uh, what I want to get eventually is, of course, multiple tanks going with beer. And then I think I'll... No, sorry, they bo almost booped over my, my stuff here. They're fighting again. I'll... Uh... I'll need to see if how the placement, the best placement will be for the bottler. I don't know if he can reach the, the bottle place, right, uh, the worker. So we can set up a bottling. I would like to start building the conveyor belt. <laughs> no spam, no spam allowed. Yeah, that's, that's what I would like to do. I would like to get like a couple of bottling machines. Let me test one thing real quick. Okay, no. Just a test. I wouldn't do it because I walk there a lot. But you can't do it anyway. So we'd have to go... You can put another bottom machine here. Then the belt would go this way. And then we can either do it this way or put another bottling machine here and make it go this way. But I don't know about that. But if I put, I can't put, I can't go past this door, right? Because that that won't work. It will block the whole. It will block the door. Well, you can't move those two bottling machines because they come with the building. Uh, if you don't build it yourself, you can't remove it. That's the downside of that. But uh, yeah, we can try out a lot of stuff, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the 105 likes. Uh, thank you for joining the giveaways. There is a giveaway going on on the games discord. Uh, link is pinned in chat, though you can find it on the Steam page as well. Look at them go. See, two, two doesn't get stuck. That seems to be the same with the brewing tank, by the way. Two is better than three. So far. They'll probably get stuck once. Um, I'll be on my Discord for a bit longer if you want to come hang out. I also have a beautiful, glorious, drunk floof 
pint glass available on the merch store if you want to drink your beer in style. Also a lot of other stuff. Make sure to check that out. Lots of Freya's on there for different games. And uh, yeah, I will see you all very soon. Remember to leave a review on Steam if you have bought or won the game. Support, yeah, I, I told, I called it. They're, they're stuck again. So uh, leave a review to support the developer. Try to be kind because even if there's a couple of bugs here and there, it's uh, he's putting in a lot of work. And he doesn't deserve mixed reviews because people are going, eh, I can't play it. I have like, what, 36 hours in the game now? <laughs> Fine. Yeah, stop, <laughs> stop playing with each other. I did. But I think uh, the uh, one guy went... Is doing, no, he, he also has a bag now. Where did he get a bag from? It's fine. Everyone, I wish you good night. I'll see you next time.